Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. The show is about to begin. Hello everyone, we're about to begin. I will have to jump in and cover up our guest because I totally forgot to say that. Uh, I forgot to turn the, turn the cover on, so please be aware. Please be aware. Two seconds. Because <laughs> so prepared, so professional, so totally professional. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. We're coming in. We're coming in and cover up. Quick. quick cover. 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 Uh, here we go. Aha. Done it. Done it. Totally covered. Totally. You never saw that. You never saw anything. Totally did not see anything. <laughs> saw nothing. Exactly. You saw nothing. Oh. <laughs> How are we all tonight? How are we doing? <laughs> yeah. To cover up. No. No. <laughs> To cover up our wonderful guest, <laughs> pro streamer, totally Wolfman, totally. How you doing, Wolfman? Hello, Drive. Hey, Trevor, Purge Light. Hey, who else here? Pick Pie. Uh, yeah, welcome in, everyone. Welcome in. I hope everyone is doing great. Momo, Momo, TOS time. TOS, no, no TOS. I'm only showing leg. Only showing leg. And as per normal, table is still not up. <laughs> no problem, drive. No problem. <laughs> oh, how is everyone doing today? I hope everyone is well. I hope everyone is having a good day. I hope everyone, all my American friends, are having a great Thanksgiving. I hope you are all enjoying your turkey or whatever way you decide to celebrate it. <laughs> Hope you're all enjoying yourselves. I know that this year is probably a harder one to have. Uh, so, however you're doing it, enjoy it. But yeah. So, welcome. Hey, Lidar. I'm doing awesome. I'm doing awesome. It's uh, late. This is a uh, late night with Laser Geek tonight. <laughs> Laser Geek by night. But yeah, welcome to the Makers Podcast. Blue Moon, welcome in, welcome in. Oh, and Swicky Boy's here, Swicky Boy's here as well. Awesome to see you, Swicky Boy. Oh, everyone's here, everyone's here. So I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Tonight, our special guest is a cunning artificer. Okay, it's the only way you call it. To, to say that she is an amazing wingsmith uh, costumer seamstress you know and a, and a absolutely amazing photographer as much as as much as she pretends that she tries to get out of being a photographer nowadays she is an absolutely amazing photographer so you know she tries to hide it so let me just unmute her before I forget, because we're so professional in this stream. Totally professional. Let me just uh, find the right button. Find the right button. There's the button that we need. There we go. So, get, ladies and gentlemen, Lynn, you're, not, you're now muted, by the way. You're now muted. Please be aware. <laughs> Amy, say, no, you're just right in time. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce tonight's guest, the Feathered Phoenix. Here she is. Way! Hello, hello, hello. I've been reading all the names. Wolfman, Momo Blue. Wow, you're right. Everybody is here. LiDAR, Blue Moon, <laughs> me, <Jay. laughs> <laughs> All the All the people are here. All the cool kids are in. Yep. No, oh, they're all came, coming out to see you. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing hey, today? I am alive. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you're doing... <laughs> Take before, what we can get. before the show, you were doing good. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah and doing. you've got and you've got your rider, haven't you? We got your rider, all those M and M's. Oh yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Shall I show off my yeah. M and M's? Yeah, totally, totally. <laughs> look at that, look at that. Made sure it's she got all her M and M's. bag. <laughs> 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 Yeah, look at that, you know, we're, yeah, Blue Moon, we're, we're, we're like buddies with the headsets, yeah. <laughs> I've got flames, though. Yeah. 
Hey, Purple. How are you today? Purple tea. Hey, sweetheart. Oh. So, hey, yeah. Eskimo. <laughs> uh, uh, we're, we're, we're in semi-lockdown. It's not the proper lockdown. <laughs> yeah, we're apparently in tears. I have no idea what tears I'm in, but... Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh. It's one of it's one of those things. <laughs> I just got a valid excuse now not to go out. Yeah, what's did you did you have an excuse before? Uh, well, it was hard coming up with a valid one. <laughs> Besides so being there's, well, there's there's disease people. out there. <laughs> yeah, now there's there, now there's germs as well as people. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's a valid excuse. There's always a valid excuse. True. True. Oh no. <laughs> Unless you've got, unless you've oh cake. yes. <laughs> oh, ho- hopefully, it. purple, you will be okay. Oh right. So, shall we jump into things? We can jump right can, in. Yeah. So, how did we meet? <laughs> Dear God, do you know how many years ago that was, and you want me to remember? I, it was at the convention. Does it was it help? Like, <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah, that, that's that's probably all I remember about it as well. It was randomly in London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In, and in a hotel. Them. This this sounds yeah. weird and wrong already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're good digging. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> there was lots of photographers. Uh, they were. That's uh, not any better, actually. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, I was, yes, I somehow got sucked into Team Scotland. You got sucked into, well, well, everyone gets t- sucked into Team Scotland. I got uh, adopted. Oh, oh it was crazy, like, uh, crazy times. Cats. You get collected and there's yep. no escape. <laughs> that's, that's what happens with Team Scotland, though. You know, we, we, yeah. we find you and we go, come and sit with us. <laughs> Here's some Maltesers. <laughs> Yeah, have some Maltesers. That's that's yeah, that's alcohol. you know, yeah, you know, our that's our, our trap. It's like, oh, they've got Maltesers. Let's go and see yes. them. <laughs> You're not wrong. Yeah. And then you come and sit down beside us, and then we start talking to you, and then you never leave. Yeah, that probably pretty much covers it nicely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, pre- pretty much, we met at a photography convention. In case you are wondering, guys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We've known each other for, uh, for a while. Was it, was it now seven, eight years? Around at least. about that, yeah. yeah. At least that, yeah. Yeah. It was a long, a long, long time. Because it was, uh, yeah, it was the the first year they had it at that other hotel. <laughs> oh, did you only go to that one? You never well, went, I went to the Novotel originally. I went to the Novotel for the last year, but I never right. the only person I ever met was Ruth. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> it all starts with Ruth. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, uh, that's how I ended up getting dragged in the right. next year. <laughs> ah, I see. Yes, yes, so, yes. But yeah, because like that first year, you were just, you were, you, you never, you never came across to me as a crafty person at all, really. You know, you had it well. I you were... wasn't really at that point in time. I was only just really getting into the photography quite seriously. And I hadn't started doing my, um, the, the sort of uh, portraits that I like doing yet. I was still doing weddings and your general family portraiture stuff. And <laughs> 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 so it, it was just basically, um, it was a, must have been a good two three years later when i started making stuff for myself Mm -hmm. and yeah that rabbit hole oh yeah i'm still falling (laughs) oh yeah Yeah. because i would say you you know it was you know the the stuff that you just started to come out with was absolutely but i can't even speak now absolutely amazing from the get-go as well really once once you started showing off what you were capable of doing. I'm a shine mouse. <laughs> it's unbelievable, is it? No. no, no, it's totally not unbelievable. I, you know, I've, you know, with, you know, we've been up till six o'clock in the morning, in a hotel bar. They're, they're, <laughs> You're not yes. a shy mouse. No. <laughs> no, it was. Um, 
it takes me a little while to let the weirdness out. I don't want to frighten people quite so badly. Yeah. Well, and now we're on Twitch, yeah. and now we can celebrate the <laughs> yeah, weirdness. We can, yeah, well, that's, that is the thing. We can just be as weird as we want now. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Which is the best thing. <laughs> you know, you're allowed to let the weird flag fly. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, and as you're supposed in... to be proud of it, which I am. Yes. Yes, so I've definitely found my tribe here. Actually, more so, I think, than the photography world. Oh, yes. Oh, very much so. Because, yeah. like, in the photography world, it's it's a strange one. You know, there, there, there are lots of lovely, lovely people in it. Yes, but there's also a lot of egos, which so you don't much. really get in the crafting world. Oh, so much. much ego and so much, this is mine, it's only mine. Mine, don't, I'm not you know, sharing. Not sharing yeah. it, I'm, you know, or it, this is mine, I love it, don't say anything bad about it. Oh, you know? yes. And it's like, yes. you, know, you, got, you know, like you're putting in for a competition. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst bit. Like the number of times the you... they're going to rip it apart. <laughs> yeah. <Duh. laughs> you know, that, that was that was that's what I hated about the competitions. You know, it was like when you're putting some you're putting an image in for a competition. Of course, someone is going to, you know, say something negative about it. They're going to say the good things about it, but they're yeah. also going to say, "I don't like this because of that." You know. Yes. And oh. Yes. You know, no, that's that's why I'm so much happier out of it. I must be honest. Yeah, but you know, when we get into photos a bit later, for, you know, folk will see why I keep saying that you're an amazing photographer. You know. Nah. <laughs> you know that. Well, let's see. There, there was the the fact that you got your associateship on your first try when you were just going for the the lower level, and they went, "No, you're getting the higher level." Apparently, if my Photoshop work had been better, they would have bounced me straight to fellowship. Exactly. That still does not compute. Mm -hmm. I think it was one image out of the set that stopped that happening. And I know which image, image it is, and I wasn't happy about that image going in, but nothing else fit as a panel. So, eh, what can yeah. you do? And then, you know, and then we kept hounding you to go for your associateship, uh, your license, your fellowship. Yes, I have. I haven't got time. <laughs> I honestly don't have time to do twenty more images. Yeah, I not anymore. Six hundred bucks. Oh my god, uh, that was. Oh, explaining that one to Sean. Yeah, it's expensive. It is, yes. But you know, that's that. That is that is the thing. It was, you know, sometimes I thought it was a bit of a money maker for them, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, it was the yeah. prints more yeah. than anything. I mean, the actual payment for the judging didn't bother me, yeah. but um, I went in for standard prints, and then I thought, oh, no, I want mounts, and I want this, and I want that. And they came back and said, oh, that'll be £600, please. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll get back to you in two. I'm so sorry, Sean. <laughs> I didn't even check the price. <laughs> oh, but, that, that, you know. Prints are expensive, though. You yeah, know, especially especially when you're trying to do them at that higher yeah. level. That higher level in twenty by sixteen was yeah. yeah. But yeah, the you know it's 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 crazy that you know like neither of us are really in the photography world anymore, really. No. You know that's it's you besides know besides the Team Scotland guys. Yeah. And the odd one or two here and there. No, not at all. Yeah, it's 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 that kind of weirdness of like photography is, like you know it was it played such a big role in my life for like so many years. Yeah, and it's and, and you know, you know, and how do you know do, do you know do you look back in that and go, oh, is it a a fun thing? Is it something that you're like, oh, I'm okay with or not okay with or? Still want to do the sort of photog photography I enjoy. Mm -hmm. The sort of I hate calling them fantasy portraits. Cosplay portraiture? Eh, it doesn't really fit either anyway. But I still want to do that on occasion. Um, but I, I quit weddings two years ago. I don't miss it. Not one <laughs> eensy weensy tiny bit at oh. all. I don't miss the nightmares the night before, the sleeplessness the night before. No, miss none of that. 
no, yeah. not at all. So that was that was the thing. You were you were a dedicated uh, photographer's assistant. That's what you marketed yourself as. Yes, as well. I was you, you, professional you, assistant. Yeah, yeah I, I shot for four or five different photographers yeah. throughout the year. So, yeah, it was busy, but I would got to the point where my work was suffering, starting to suffer. I could see the quality doing this, and not for weddings. That's you can't oh, no. do that. So. No, definitely not. It's not fair on the client. So, and that's when I said, time out, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, like, you know, like for, unlike for me, I, I kind of had that easy break and that my studio lease was up. And I'm like, oh, this is a perfect time for just going, no, nah, I'm out. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can escape. You know, I'm like, you know, it's, you know, the, the portrait studio market is dying on its. Oh, it's it's, it's, I, 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 uh, I don't think it's even gone knees. I think it's face face Aye. first on the floor, dead. Yeah. To be honest. Yeah, and especially you know, and like especially for this year. <laughs> yeah. Know. Oh, especially for this year. I don't think it's going to come back either. Not yeah, it's, in a hurry. It's, it's going to take a while for them, and I feel sorry for the like you know our friends that still oh, have God, studios, yeah. you know that are that are struggling. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. And I, you know. Um, I, I, you know, for yeah, some of them, it's hard watching the suffering. Yeah. yeah, you know, some at least for some of them, they've got other avenue streams. Yeah, but uh, you know, fired off the ball. <laughs> Sorry, I had to hit the ball. <laughs> oh, you got the ball. Oh, you <laughs> got, got the ball. <laughs> you got him. Oh, 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 oh. They're coming in! They're coming in! Oh, they're coming in! <laughs> I have yeah, a band hammer. You got a band hammer. <laughs> it's a uh, prop hammer. <laughs> Oh, no. So I can actually hit things with it and oh. people. Oh. Good for hitting. Oh no, people. Michi's here. Michi, you can get them. You can get them, Michi. Go, Michi. Go, Michi. Yeah, hands Michi the band hammer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's got a sword. She doesn't yeah. need a hammer. No, she's got a sword. Right. Here we go. <laughs> that was I wanted to get him. Uh oh, you upset her. <laughs> but yeah, the um, uh, you know. Damn, they're coming so, in thick and fast, aren't they? Uh, I have no idea. We're just getting them today. We're getting them today. I wonder what's going on. Army of bots. Yeah. yeah. I've heard a few people actually say that. That yeah, they'll it's... get a rash of like 10, 15 all coming in at once. Wackabot. <laughs> yeah. This is a, you know. I've, Let's you know, play Wackabot. <laughs> you know, I, as a Twitch streamer, have you experienced anything like that before? No. Mm -mm. No, I'm still too small. I'm still way too small for the bots to target me. You're not that no, small. I, I I I seldom get above twenty viewers on that's, a stream. That's not small for makers and crafting. I <laughs> yeah, I suppose actually. You're not wrong. But then I'm used to sitting in streams where you're looking at fifty plus. Hmm. So I yeah. guess most of mine are lurkers, which is fine actually. I quite like a quiet, calm stream. Yeah. Unfortunately, I have watchers that don't let me. <laughs> <laughs> they like scaring me. <laughs> Thank you, Michi. Thanks, Michi. Yeah, but you know that—that's the thing, though. When you've got we've got lovely mods, people like Michi. Oh yes, yeah, yes, Michi's but... awesome mod. Oh, Ash is in. Hey, great Oscar. Yep. Yeah. Hi there. Hello, Ash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Michi, Michi's, Michi's oh, adding things now. <laughs> Michi adding things. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> She's gone into what mode. <laughs> Just, Them bots are going to uh, get it. <laughs> yep. There we go. Yeah. So, you know, that, that and, but that's the thing is, you know, you know, twi you know, in makers and crafting, 20, fall, twi 20 watchers is a good, uh, a good, a good number for the size of, True, you I know, guess. Yeah, for the channel. Yeah, I get I suppose it's I must be honest, I don't really look at my numbers all that often. Yeah. You know, it's you know I it just I just chat in with the people who are there. Um I love my lurkers because lurkers, you know they're always good. But mm. other than that, yeah. I'm just on here to have somebody to talk to. Yeah. You're, <laughs> you're like me. To myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
and that that that's the that's a great thing about Twitch is mm. it's you know you're you know you can come on here for a chat, yes, <laughs> literally, you, you know, while you're making stuff. Yeah, and it's, it's it's nice. Also, it's nice for a change to talk to somebody who has the same sort of interests and passions. Yeah, rather than seeing my normie friends go. Oh. She's on it again. <laughs> exactly. You know, it's like, you know, when you, you know, you talk to someone that knows, you know, a little bit about something that you're doing, even if it's not exactly what you're doing, they yeah. know, you know, they've got some grounding in some aspects of it, or at least they yes. can, you know, they're they're in that they're in that same creative headspace at least. You yes, know, you know, and, and they can understand you going. Ah! Yeah. For no apparent exactly. reason. Incoming! <laughs> oh, Incoming! We've got Dragon Sammy coming in with a party of 23. Thank oh my you goodness, so much. We've been raided. Let's drop some newts for them. Newts. Drop the newts. Dro drop the newts. No, no, no. I get some very, very odd looks with my, my cute ears. I like my ears. <laughs> oh, ears are great. Oh, totally. <laughs> But apparently it makes me weird. <laughs> <laughs> don't, you know, hey, but remember what we were just saying? We're allowed mm -hmm. to let our weirdness weirdness flag fly on Twitch. Oh, And that oh, is the yes. thing. You know, it's the, you know, the, the chance to go, look at me, I'm cool in my own way. Because, <laughs> you know. You know. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly what you mean. You know. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's nice to be accepted for a change and not looked at with side eye and a slight lean away. <laughs> no, Mallet, you're definitely not weird. Yeah. And Dragoness <laughs> Sammy, thank you so much for bringing all your people here. Hey, I hope, I, I right hope your stream went well. And welcome in, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, good, Princess. Yeah. Normal is un um, normal is boring. Oh, it's it's the most boring of boring. Being normal. I tried it for five minutes once. <laughs> Wouldn't recommend. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure I saw you try to be normal once. <laughs> Quite possibly. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure it was that first time I met you. <laughs> I, I try not to scare people too badly this time they meet me. Yeah. So I'm sure. Did I not just give you a hug the first time I met you as well? <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Quite probable. So I'm sure it was, you know, I, most likely hugging most people that day. Yeah. I, I, as, as know, mostly, once, you know, mm. most likely is what Team Scotland does. <laughs> yes, this is true. This is very much a hug -a of the first time we run into each other yeah. at a convention. <laughs> oh, right. So let, us, let me find the right thing. Ah. Let me get the right one up. So we're going to just jump into showing off some cool stuff because uh, there's so much cool stuff here, guys. Oh, God. Like, sorry, people. I sent him a choice. He's not supposed to show all of them. I'm she so said, sorry. She, she sent me photos <laughs> and I was like, let's have let's have lots of photos. <laughs> <laughs> Slides. Yes, diorama. It's, it's yeah. death by PowerPoint. <laughs> it's not death by PowerPoint at all. I know. It's It's... You know, it's total prompts here, guys. Total prompts. <laughs> Let's get the right one. No, it's the weekly show off. That's the wrong one. Give me the right one. Uh, professional not professional at all. <laughs> totally not pro. <laughs> get the projector started. Exactly, Lama. Exactly, Lama. <laughs> totally profesh. Totally profesh. We're not a professional streamer <laughs> here. You know, the fact, the fact that I tried to put up the sign earlier and it fell on the floor... Says it all. <laughs> At least it wasn't live. It wasn't live. But we put the sign up, put the sign up, and it fell on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's how professional we are today. Needed feathers. Totally needed feathers. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So, uh, you've just had a rebrand. Haven't you? I have. I looked at my picture. Delcy, thank you for that follow. I don't know, my, so yes, my, my I, lips I really loud. And decided <laughs> I, I, needed, I needed a new look. Um, so 
this is what we have. <laughs> a lovely galaxy theme. Yes, it's a Phoenix gal galaxy, apparently. Oh, Not as loud as mine, Diorama, and they don't give me heart failure. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. There's oh, some, that's true. That's the, that's the there's the Mitchell. There it is there. <laughs> there it is there. <laughs> there's your Mitchell arm. I know I turned I turned that I turned it off properly. Uh I turned ah. off the, 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 the coming in one. <laughs> uh but I've I've left the actual alarm. <laughs> so there we go. So yeah, your your new your new your new overlay design is looking pretty pretty props as Lama would call it. <laughs> I'm quite pleased with it. Yeah. Um, two seconds while I figure out why my things are really loud. Why are you really loud? I have no idea. I'll have to try and figure yes. that out later. Kind of fond of it myself, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Wingsmith. Yeah. Wingsmith and Cunning Artificer. Where did that come from? That is completely and utterly stolen from Terry Pratchett. <laughs> uh, although they have um, blacksmiths, I just changed it to Wingsmith. And in the main city, in his Discworld novels, the main city is called Ankh-Morpork, and there's a street by the name of the Street of Cunning Artifices. Hence the sign you made me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's where all the blacksmiths and metalsmiths and whoever makes things hangs out yeah so. that's, you know, that's, that's one photo we don't have in here is the uh, the sign above your door that's <laughs> true we don't <laughs> the, the, we, we collabed on <laughs> bye dragoness oh <laughs> uh, yeah so yeah it was one of the one of the first uh, one of the first few things I made on the CNC actually was, uh, was that your sign? one yeah. was your sign Ooh. which was you know, Dragoness is a Terry Pratchett fan. Indeed, yeah. Dragoness, you are correct. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me started uh, on Terry Pratchett. I won't shut up for the whole night. <laughs> so, Terry Pratchett is one of your inspirations then? <laughs> um, no, actually not so much. I'm mildly obsessed with his work, yes. I collect his stuff, yes. <laughs> And I have probably read and listened to his audiobooks. I must be between 10 and 15 times now, the whole series, going through the whole series. But as far as it impinging on my, besides the Street of Cunning Artifices and the Wingsmith part, no, not really. <laughs> it, they, it's my escape. I yeah. go and listen to Terry Pratt when I want to get away from things. Uh. So. Excellent. So, what was the, uh, well? This was your first kind of creative. Oh yes. Uh, <laughs> this is well. That kind of, you know. That's what you sent me. Was the first thing that you'd you made ever made? Yes, yeah. the first thing I ever made for a photo shoot. Yeah, was this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the onesie <laughs> that is actually a onesie pattern I used. <laughs> <laughs> no. When you look at it there, that's, you know, like these images, look at those, look at this image. How amazing is that, guys? It's, you know, you know, how, how creative. You know, it's amazing so, what the addition of a corset will do to a onesie. <laughs> and a fantastic model. That definitely helped. But you put all that together still. You know, and yeah. that's the thing, you know, you know, you made the... first feathers as well, I've just realised. It was first your first feathers, feathers. First feathers and first costume. Yeah. You know, but, you know, the, the, as much as you're, you know, you cringe at that first costume, you know, that is still an iconic image for you. It is. You know. It is, yes. It definitely is. Yeah. Um... That was also the first group shoot I'd ever organised with a whole bunch of photographers. Uh, Jen Brook, the model, and there were a couple, uh, a few other 
sort of friends and family that modeled for us as well. I put that together at a local stately home. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's on a white background. <laughs> none of the stately home parts included because none of it fit with what I was going for. <laughs> so what, what kind of led you to go, I want to make something for this shoot? I saw a sketch of a Harlequin and he was... Um, Okay, I'm just let me just think my way through this because I actually still remember the. Uh, I was looking for something to photograph. I wanted to do something creative, um, and folklore, legends, myths, all that sort of thing has always fascinated me. And I, um, I have uh, a tarot deck, and don't do tarot, but I bought the deck because it's um, it's got like a. Uh, what do you? What's the word I'm looking for? Words are hard. Basically, the characters on the back all sort of morph into each other, and that mm -hmm. provides the meaning of the card. And um, one of my favorite cards has always been the Fool because I love the story behind it. I don't know if you know the story behind the first card in the deck, which is known as the Fool. He's stepping off a cliff. Right. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's um, not one that I know of. It, it, it's basically um, your first step into a journey. Yeah. So being the first photograph I was doing of the sort led me to the fool. And then I saw the Harlequin, which is also a fool. Um, and it just kind of all links up together like that. And I, I looked around for costume. I could have hired one for probably twice the price I paid for the supplies <laughs> to make that. So was that was that a, a like I could just make this myself? I can just make <laughs> this myself. Yes. Um I I never really used a sewing machine. I've made a couple of Halloween costumes before, but I'd never really used a sewing machine and I picked satin as my first fabric. Right. Never. <laughs> Slippery little bugger. Yeah. Yeah, my 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 understanding from watching the uh, Great British Showing Bee says that. Uh, yes, yes, and you do swear at it a lot. Uh, you don't want to see the seams on that thing. Oh dear Lord, you don't want to see the seams on that thing. <laughs> I even put uh, a zipper in it, which still surprises me. Wow. And it doesn't yeah. do the snaky thing either. Oh well, wow. So, because I didn't know what I was doing, so I wasn't scared of it. <laughs> <laughs> you just went for it. I just went for it. Ooh. Yeah. You know. Oh, Lama redeemed ask question. I've not changed that. I need to change that. I knew there was some I need to change. Yeah. What year was that? I actually have no idea, but this was a good Jumping over a wee bit, two seconds. There we go. Um, eight, I want to say eight or nine years ago. Was this before or after the convention? No, yes, I might have started going to convention already. Between six and eight years ago, at least. Now, mm, must be, yeah. must be about that. So I'm trying, Unfortunately, yeah. I'm not on my 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 um main computer so i can't uh, look it up and have a look at what date it was taken <laughs> <laughs> yeah um so yeah the i uh, so was this was this after i'd met you it would have been after i'd met you i think so yes so you know it'd be it'd be at least so at least seven years ago then at least seven years ago now yeah, yeah. Right. So, because there was this one, and then you moved to this one here, your Alice. Oh, yes, my Alice. That was the first sort of props I made. Not just costume, but I actually made the little mushrooms and the caterpillar. And um, this was the image that got me completely into making my own costumes because I took this image I dropped it into a photography group and they went bonkers <laughs> they went 
utterly bonkers and i'm like wait what wait wait, wait why why <laughs> what's so amazing <laughs> i honestly didn't get it uh this is a friend of mine's daughter as well um i have no problems borrowing people <laughs> to model yep. for me yep you are right. one of these people yes, that just borrows people <laughs> Yes, I, I do. I collect and borrow people. Um, that was made out of a costume pattern. And I looked at the, the, the actual costume and it was uh, very traditional Alice split colors of red, white, black, you know, the, the card colors. Yeah. And I thought, no, I'm going steampunk. <laughs> <laughs> so Alice got steampunked. <laughs> You know, uh, the with that one, like it was just like you know, like all the little tiny details. So, yes, there's a you know, lot of tiny details. There's a caterpillar uh, in there somewhere, yeah. and mushrooms, and you know. there was a lot more, but I ended up taking a lot out because I had a little, I painted an entire tea set, miniature tea set. It, it, oh, sweet, that yeah, maybe tell um, me about that. Yeah, yeah. But, and things like the ring on her finger to include the Cheshire, Cheshire cat. She's got a Cheshire cat ring on. Right, so you've got um, all these little tiny, tiny details into there. Yes, that, uh, for me, know. that is the most fun mm -hmm. in the photos, hiding the little details <laughs> and seeing how closely people actually... Because I did hear, I think, did I... I think I put that one in the 20... by 16... I'm sure that one went in. Anyway, somebody was looking at it, and all I remember hearing is, oh, my God, she's wearing a Cheshire cat ring. And I thought, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know, something that, you know, See? is really good that folk are, you know, really, you know, when when you do, when you go to that sort of detail, though, that, that just adds that extra level to, you know, to that image, you know, and it's For just... For me, there would be no point otherwise. Yeah, you know, and... Because I'm telling a story, I want that detail in there. I want people to be able to sit and study the image, not yeah. go, "Ooh, pretty image." Moving on. Yeah, you know, and that—that's what I've always loved about like your image creation. You know, the fact that you've taken uh, the creative side of you know your making, you know, and when I want to do this, 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 and this, and now that I can actually do that, and then <laughs> transfer it and go, I'm putting this into this image, and then just elevated that image up that extra element, you know, to create, you know, with that image that I, you know, mm. you're, you're like, I know what I want. And I'm like, and I'm going yes. to make it. <laughs> um, I, be honest with you, at, at this point when I was completely winging it, yeah, I had not the foggiest idea what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just thought, this is what I want to do. Let's figure it out. Mm -hmm. And that was actually almost more fun than taking the image. <laughs> just, well, and, and the the winging it part. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 just making the stuff and getting all the details and all that. And I actually enjoyed it as much as doing the final photo shoot. Uh -huh. And then the editing at the end. Because um, editing was always a favorite of mine. Yeah. Um, but... It was just, yeah, putting the detail in and thinking my way through the image. I loved that part. I loved the creation part. And then it was just sort of like, okay, everything's there. Lighting looks good. Click. Record taken. <laughs> done. Done dusted. Done, done and, and dusted. And, and it Photoshop. Done. There we are. Yeah. All, all sorted. <laughs> you know, that, that, that bit's all right. You know, taking the photos, yeah. fine. Making, making, the image, making the parts for the photo, you know, putting it all together. Is is that what you you know that is well you know I'm saying is this that, is when it started you know, dawning on yeah. me that this part was as much fun as the actual photography and the more I got into it, the less often I honestly picked my camera up. Sorry. <laughs> 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 um, no, yeah, but that's the thing. Like that is that bit where you know when you just start to realize that you know the parts that you more enjoy are you know where you want to go. Oh yes, you know, and that's you know, and when you can do that, you know, it's so much better, because there's no point in doing something that you don't enjoy, in the end. Exactly, exactly, and it took me a long time to get my head around that, um, but here we are. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Here we are, definitely. 
Yeah, because, you know, these are your first set of wings. Oh, God, yes, the first set. <laughs> <laughs> a wing and a prey. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear Lord, that was put on a denuded backpack that I pulled apart. That's made, that's foam. Yeah. Um, that's copper piping in there. It's very expensive piping, All right. which I might add snapped the day before they were supposed to be sent away. I right. made them for a long one. <laughs> um, so they reinforced, oh, they're never going to break again. That I can tell you. <laughs> After what I did to them, they ain't going to break again. But, but they didn't collapse at all. There was, they were about three and a half meter wingspan. Wow. Yeah. So what? Heavy yeah, as yeah. hell. <laughs> that, well, they would be. So what were these for? These were for a photo shoot, actually. Right. Um, for uh, this, I think, was possibly my very first commission. Uh -huh. As such, um, I did say to the lady, "I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Be warned. <laughs> I can make something, or I can attempt to mm. make something, but I have no idea what I'm doing." So you were literally uh, winging it. I was literally winging it with my first wings. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we had to get that in somewhere. We totally had to get that in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, anyway. we managed to ship it. It costs mm -hmm. a bloody fortune. Because <laughs> you could take them out of the back pack and then plonk them one on top of each other, but that is as much as they came apart. Yeah. So it was a two meter by one and a half meter by about 30 centimeters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that would have, you know, that would have been expensive. It, yeah. was a it cost more than I charged for the wings. I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> but that's that's always the case, though. Like you know, like you know, when you um, when you first start out, pricing is always that hard point, isn't yes. it? You know. Yes, and especially... also I didn't want to charge a lot because I honestly didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. I, yeah. I basically all I really wanted was the supplies covered because, like I said, not a clue what I was doing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but you know it's you know it's 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 that bit of you know of tr starting to figure out what you're worth as well you know, you know. <laughs> oh my couriers are not used to me now <laughs> my couriers they know me by name yeah. you, know, you know you know you know have you have you managed to figure out what you're worth yet or are you still figuring yourself out um there is a price hike due in January, but that's mainly because of supplies mm -hmm. for the wings. I'm still, I mean, an, uh, I've, I've, the, the commissions for the violins are now up. If that's the price I'm going to go with, I'm not sure yet. Yeah. But we'll see. I, I find it very hard to price um, in general. Because I'm having so much fun, I feel guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Not, not the wings, though. Yeah. Them, I don't feel guilty about at all. <laughs> I, I will price what I want for those because, <laughs> damn, they're a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, they are definitely a lot of work because, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see that in a minute when we start getting into mm -hmm. the wings. Because, uh, yeah, there's here's some more wings here. First set as well. Those mm -hmm. were the first set of um, uh, not animatronic. Those were, what is it called when they move? Word yeah. escapes me. But yeah, those are the first set that actually collapsed. Those worked on cables. Right. Uh, are these the ones that went to Japan? Those are the ones that went to Japan. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> these, 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 are, these are actually famous wings. Articulated. Uh, thank you, Diorama. Articulated. There we go. These are these are famous wings, people. Oh, Christ, yes. Oh, you know, these are, these man. have been... These are, these have been in the Tokyo Dome during have, Wrestle Kingdom, been. as worn uh, by you know if anyone all, if anyone's wondering, uh, worn by Marty Scurll, uh, uh, famous wrestler Marty Scurll. <laughs> <laughs> um, nobody tried to claim them as their own. Mm. Uh, people assumed. Um, yeah, but somebody corrected them. I stayed out of the Twitter storm. Yeah. I was not getting involved in that. I am not going nowhere near that, thanks. <laughs> but yes, we all know that these were yours. Yeah. <laughs> these are these are Feathered Phoenix originals. 
they mm. were. I complained enough about them <laughs> 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 while I was making them. Oh man, did I complain! <laughs> oh, they they looked fantastic. Um, they uh, worked quite well. Yeah, they worked they quite well. Indeed. There's a bit. There's a bit of video coming up later where you can see them in action as well. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know, they they are so. For these being articulated, so were they just? How did they operate? They are operated by cables. You pulled cables so. down, they flipped the wings up. But because of their size, um, I because of the the whole leverage thing, I were personally wasn't strong enough to lift to open them. Yeah. I could open them to a certain point, and after that, I had to sort of lean forward to be able to take that leverage off to be able to flip them open the rest of the way. But he's a wrestler. He yeah. didn't have a problem. Yeah. He just whipped those wings open. They looked awesome coming open fast. Oh, they, they, did. they did. They did. It looked amazing. I remember watching mm. it live <laughs> and was like, oh yeah, I forgot she was having these on here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. If I had actually had an inkling of where these wings were going to end up, I would not have taken the commission and I actually wouldn't be yeah, right now. Those are yeah. the wings. Those. That's why I do what I do now because of those wings. Yeah. Because when I saw them in the in the Tokyo Dome with that many people watching and realizing it's pay per view, I felt sick to my stomach. If those had <laughs> failed, oh dear God. <laughs> yeah, because he because he had to put them together by because uh, yes. uh, to get them to over there, you had to, you had to take them apart yeah. and put them they back put together. Them back together. Yes, they're actually still in Tokyo. Apparently, they're in a shop somewhere. Yeah, on display. So there you go. Want to bring him back, and I don't blame him. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, but well, that's the thing, though. Things like that are, you know, pe- you know, pieces of history. You know, like that is an you know entrance entrance gear, in wrestling yeah. is a big thing. It is. Yeah. I didn't. You know. I. I mean, I still don't know much about wrestling, even though I do quite a bit of wrestling gear. But I do most of the entrance gear that I do was off stream. Yeah. And nothing is shared until after they've. Ta-da. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, that, but and that's what they want a lot of the time because it's a special, a special thing for them. Um, yes. You know. Very much but, so. It's part of their character. So. Yeah. But that's uh, you know. But you know, especially in like places like Japan, where wrestling is huge, you know, it's yes. a big part of the culture still. Um, yes. You know, it's uh, you know, like these sort of things, you know, are you know a very vital part of the whole culture of the the thing, and they'll put you know they will be put on display, you know, especially if they it's will be. part of part of a high profile match like he was part of. Yeah, it was yeah. his. I think he was defending his title, yeah. which I had no idea about either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, sure, I'll do it. No problem. Aye. Yeah, but that's what you—that's what you get for being friends with pe- friends that <laughs> know this, wrestlers. This, this, <laughs> this is true. This is true. But this is also probably why I, like I said earlier, that the fool card in the tarot deck. Yeah, I'm one of those people that will literally jump off a cliff and figure out how to fly on the way down. Yeah, I do it constantly. <laughs> I truly do. Yeah, sure, yeah. I'll do it. Put phone down. Google, Google help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you know, yeah, you know, that's you know, it's just you know, it's it's amazing just how, you know, one thing leads to another for you though, you know. Oh yeah. On these things, you know, and that exposure has, you know, kind of pushed pushed those wings, you know, further and further, you know, it but has. you know. But you also use them in other ways as well, like for your own imagery. Yes, um, I have used them know, in my own imagery. You know, here's some. Ooh, yes, there's a peak of the yeah. unfinished. Yep. Yeah. So you I was know, on. you know. So this is some armor that you were making. You um, know. I cannot claim this armor. All right, was this not your armor? Right. The armor, the bases. Uh, none of the decoration was done, but the bases were done by the foam wizard. Oh, John. yep. Foam wizard, right? Uh, yeah. John, who was the one who taught me how to do foam, because at the time I didn't have time to make all this. Yeah. I did all the the the, the decorating and the the stuff oh. on there. Oops. Sorry. Bounced. <laughs> Press the wrong thing. Um. 
yeah, I did all the decorating and the edging and all that sort of stuff on yeah. there, but he did the the base work for me. Right. Did you paint? Just, did you paint it up though? Yeah. Yeah. I did all so, the paint work and yeah. stuff on it as well. So. But yeah, that, that, I, I I can't claim everything in that image as much as I'd like to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so then, you know, taking that, you then got to this stage with yes. it painted up and these are some of the starting images yes this one was based on um, magic the gathering card yep. angelic overseer yes <laughs> <laughs> you, you remembered it you remembered it <laughs> i remembered it yes the angelic overseer yeah. so yes this is um also with another friend model that sword was almost the same size she is that's uh, Loretta, actually, isn't it? it? Yeah, that's Loretta. It's yeah. actually pointed down on the ground with her standing, mm -hmm. and she's got it yeah, in front of her. <laughs> she almost uh, blew away in those wings. There we go. She's a... I'm sure that's her channel, isn't it? Loretta Hope. Yes, yep. that's Loretta. Yep. <laughs> she's she's, on, awesome. she's now here. She's now on, no. she's now on Twitch. <laughs> yeah, she's now on Twitch, thanks to me. <laughs> it's another one. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I think yeah, I think I think I introduced yeah. her to Twitch. Yeah, and she's dragged yeah. other people onto Twitch as well into creators. Yeah, so uh, I'm uh, the first time I met her was at the convention. She was one yeah. of the models for one of the uh, super classes I did. Yeah, she's you know she's absolutely amazing. She's like circus performer. Oh uh, yeah, aerial artist. artist. Uh, she's she's done a few photo shoots for yeah. me. I think there's so, other photos of her later on. Yeah. She's also do does like voice work and all this sort of thing as well. She's like multi talented. She sings, great. She sings really well as well. Yeah. And she's about this big. Ah, it's tiny. She's tiny little girl. <laughs> I want to pick her up and put it in the pocket. She's so cute. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then all of that then led to this amazing image. Yes. Which which is... got nothing in the competition. Yeah. But it's a spectacular image. Thank you. That was, we got quite a bit of attention t taking that photo. Yeah. Because that was taken at a mausoleum graveyard near where Loretta lives. Yeah. And that's, you know, you know, kind of that crazy mashup where you've taken your wings. Yeah. Uh, used inspiration from Magic the Gathering. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you know, added on a bit. Actually, of you know. Hang on a sec. Two seconds. To be pr more precise. Yeah, I'll bring it up to the main one there. There we go. There it's there. That's the, the original artwork. That's the original yeah. artwork from Magic the Gathering. I hope I'm holding it still yep, enough for it yep. to focus. There we go. So yes, that's the original artwork uh, that that was from. You know, and then taken from that, you know, the cosplay aspect on top, mm -hmm. you know, combining all that to create such, you know, you know, a, a mash there, you know. That, that was good fun to take that photo. It really was. We had such a laugh that day. And it was Easter weekend as well. So the place was packed. <laughs> It was so many. Yeah. People I was going to say, I'm, sur I'm surprised you managed to get the, you know, a, a, a background that isn't just got somebody's hand in it or something. You know, a small, oh, there small was a child. Few I, I had to edit out. There were a few people I had to edit out. Mesh a few images yeah. together. There's, there's a lot of Photoshop work in yeah. that, which is uh, fairly obvious. Big moon. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. But you know, it's still, it's still that amazing style that you do. Uh, a lot of your imagery, you know, especially once you're combining your creations mm. with it. Yes, I I also think it's it's more so now than it was when I first put this image into the competition. But I think a lot of it had to do with yeah, there are mistakes. Technically, there are a lot of mistakes that I fully understand, but they don't get it. No, and that it, that that image just goes. Woomph, yeah, straight over the top of their yeah. head. So um, they don't get the the, 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 the attention to detail in the, in the costume work or any of that. But saying that it is a photography competition, um, the story is a big thing as well. 
but I think it failed a lot on the technicals. I don't have a yeah. problem with that. I love the image myself. Um, so it's not a competition with the image. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> Who cares about the competitions? Exactly. <laughs> we already discussed those. We don't care about them anymore. <laughs> uh, here we go. So here's some kind of work in progress and how oh, you're behind yes, the that's scenes. When I originally built these. Yeah. That's actually this the original build of oh hang on wait yeah. is it yeah wait 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 yeah. no, let me just check is that... Is that... uh that back plate no uh these these wings that you're seeing here are the originals that i've redone yep for here behind me um that's how they originally looked um that back plate was just a straight back plate that somebody wanted me to make for them it was sold as seen there they put right. their own they drilled their own um, holes and everything in it. That was just the standard, but that's basically what the back plate looks like. Yeah, so it's a lot of mechanical elements to this, you know. Um, yes, and they are so finicky. Yeah. You get your angles even slightly wrong, and it jams up on you. Not just that, but if the um, bolts are not tightened all to the same tightness, I guess, it also doesn't work properly. <laughs> mm. <laughs> they mm. can be very frustrating, but once you've got it working, you press that button and they open and you just go, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and that, but that's the thing, you know, you know, you're, you're, you're flying between so many different skill sets here, you know, you're, yeah. you know, you're, you're, I, you're engineering, you're, you know, <laughs> crafting, you're, <laughs> I claim the engineering husband helps a lot with that. He's yeah, a CAD designer. Yeah. That top top image up at the top there is his design. Yeah, but you know, you're still you know, we've seen you on stream putting it together. As much yes. as, as much as much as the husband has helped design it, he's not I do do the cutting yeah, and drilling. Yeah, so you're putting it, you are putting it together. Mm -hmm. You know, it's still you know, it's not like he's putting it all together for you and then you're just going, well, I'm just sticking all the wings on, you know. No, yeah, no, yeah. No, no, you're no. you're doing the the full whack. I am you know. doing the full build. Yes, he does the basic design work. I then take it and get it the back plate laser cut, and I cut and drill and measure the um, wing struts myself. Um, so that part I do, yes. But yeah. um, the design work, I don't have the patience to learn another program. <laughs> yeah, well, you've got no. a, we've got a husband that can do it for you. <laughs> feel involved exactly <laughs> get, get them involved a wee bit you know make it a family thing yes. <laughs> uh, but you know the you know it's it's very intricate as well you know because you've got like battery packs and hydraulics oh, yes. and hydraulics control units it's... um the chips i get the control units um not the battery it's uh, batteries have changed now you can no longer get those particular batteries but um that's neither here nor here, but the actuators and the control units and the remotes all come from one company and they set them all up for me. Um, it's something, yes, I could do it myself, but for a couple of extra quid, well, a little bit more than a couple of extra quid, but for a bit of extra money, I'm saving half a day's work. Yeah. So I will well. pay the money. Yeah. So, because it's a, it gives me that extra half day, so yeah, which it's is, the whole time. Which I assume would be cheaper than, <laughs> you know, oh, yeah. for your clients. Oh, <laughs> oh, yes, cheaper for the clients, for, the, the, yeah. for them to do it than me to spend the time doing yeah. it. Yeah, and, you know, are things controlled off a remote now rather than... Yes, they yeah. are remote control. You press a button and it goes wee. Yeah. And then it goes wee. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's, you know... It, you know, have you ever thought about, you know, LEDs or uh, um, I have Ar seen Arduinos or anything like that? I have. Um, <laughs> I kind the the idea I had stuck in my head is I actually wanted to make a stained glass set. Ooh. Um, there is unfortunately nothing out there that would survive the opening and closing. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, that's the that'd be the issue yeah yeah anything sort of like a thick 
the the first thing I thought of was like this co table covering I've got here, which is like a uh, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. It's like so a like really a, thick a polypropylene sort of thing. Yeah, polypropylene thing. And while it's really robust, uh, after a few folds, you're gonna get creases and it's gonna look shitty. But um, I did want to make. Tr I was trying to figure out how to get poke an LED into the bottom of each of these feathers. Right. And using the feather quill to actually transfer the light down them. I don't know if it would work, but it is sort of one of the things I kind of want to try just for the mods <laughs> of it. <laughs> exactly. A bit of experimentation. Kat was wondering if you've ever tried tails. Tails? No. I have <laughs> not tried tails. Um, I have been asked to do a couple of tails, and so far I've managed to dodge each one. <laughs> 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 uh... They normally come with a set of wings, tails, and a horn. <laughs> Instead of horns. And I'm looking at this and I'm going, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> oh, no. The tails are, tails are off the table at the moment. <laughs> at the moment, yes. Yeah. Tails. I, it might, it, doing a tail on its own, I probably would consider quite happily. But doing a tail, tails with a set of wings, the wings are, take so much effort. By the time I get to the end of a set of wings, I normally need a week off Aye. just to defrag and just leave me alone. Don't talk to me. <laughs> and don't let me ever see one of those <laughs> heathers for at least a week. <laughs> so you're, you're not being told you, you, you can't dodge anymore. You have to do a tail now. <laughs> oh, God. And it's Michi, too. Yeah. I don't really want to argue with Michi. Michi yeah. scares. I love it, but she's scary. <laughs> oh, now, here, here's an image of some of the crazy work that you get into. So you're drilling <laughs> with the, you know, all the yes, all the holes. That's, that's, that's drilling you know, all the holes. Yes. Yeah, there is that you dyeing your uh, oh, your God, feathers yeah. red. First uh, and last time. Never doing that again. <laughs> Yeah. I dyed, um, I don't know if anybody here saw, but I get my feathers delivered in one kilo bags, which is about two and a half to three thousand feathers in a bag. And I basically dyed an entire kg of feathers red, then had to lay them out to dry without inside, because if I put them outside, they went bye bye. <laughs> 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 it took three days to dry. And then they were all bleh, like this, and I had to sit there and fluff. Oh, God. I don't have a tumble dryer, so I couldn't just shove them in the tumble dryer and let the tumble dryer fluff them up for me. Oh, I was hair drying. So many feathers. No. So many feathers. Never again. I just see you sitting there just with the. the... Basically, yes, yeah, so I was just sitting there with a the hair drying. Mm -hmm. Bored. Oh. If anyone came in, they'd be like, what is this woman up to? Oh, uh, so you know, so you know, you're never, you're never redying feathers again. You're just going to buy actual feathers the right colour. Yeah, yep, buy them the right colour. Although, to be yeah. honest, that particular shade of crimson is exquisite. It is. I it love is. Those wings. Yeah. It was. The camera wouldn't take the photo properly. I had to actually adjust it to get the true colour. Yeah, because it's it a beautiful the, the red. Ridge just completely blew out. Even yeah. there, they're still quite blown. Oh, Mr. Frightful is so right. I regret everything. <laughs> I regret everything, totally. You have no uh, idea. I thought mistakes were made, says QCAP. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. They wouldn't be yep. done made again, ever. <laughs> yeah, see, here we go again. Here's more work oh, that yeah. you're up to. Black ones, you know. Black ones all... laid out all over the place in yeah. the lounge, in the roof. There's no space for them up there anymore. Yeah. <laughs> You know, and all the sewing going on as well. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's, yeah, you can see the bag of feathers there. Yeah. So, so all, you know, feathers. you know, this is all just the work that goes into the basics yes. of getting a set, of, a set of wings going on. Yeah. You the, know. um, hang on. Q-Cat, that, oh, those are goose. Uh, the main, so the big feathers, uh, I don't know if you can see them here on the covers these are turkey come on into focus there we go these are turkey feathers these ones here 
and then the rest of this is goose. And that actually works out in total the feathers are probably the biggest single cost. Mm, sorry if I was wondering how you how you got into working with the feathers and wings. I know we've kind of covered it, but do you want to go do you want to share the story of how you got you know, like the Marty Skirrell one? <laughs> Marty Skirrell. I got a I got a phone call from another friend, um, and, and photographer, and he says, "I photograph wrestlers. I have a wrestler that wants a pair of wings. Will you make some for him? What sort of wings? Wings that open and close. Okay, cool, no problem. Phone down. What have I done? Google <laughs> <laughs> made wings um, uh, with a lot of help from husband that time because I needed a lot of engineering stuff that I'd never done before, and he helped me figure it out. I did most of the work, but was like, "What do I do with this?" Questions he answered, and he did the design for me. Uh, we got them working, gave them to Marty. He took them over to Tokyo. <laughs> And I got to see them on TV in front of some stupid triple digit number of people. And yeah, had there, was a fair few, there was a fair few. It was a fair few people watching. In the stadium alone. Mm -hmm. And then a few <laughs> million folk watching on, yeah. on, t on TV, you know. <laughs> um, I've used ostrich once. Um. They're not really suitable for wings. I, I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to wings. In that, if you have a look at all the feathers, the big ones in those that image, you can see they're all different shapes. Those are all based off actual wing feathers. <laughs> there are silhouettes of wing feathers that I have done on the computer, copying photographs of actual feathers, and then sent through my cutting machine for the pattern and then cut them out of foam um ostriches don't fly <laughs> <laughs> so i have a problem with using them in wings <laughs> yeah you're 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 very stickler for the details i am a bit of a stickler for the details it can bite me on the ass more often than not but hey what can you do but in the end, though, when you start looking at them, you could go, those could fly. You know, and that's the thing. In a good wind, they'll certainly yeah. take off. You'll get yeah. dragged. You will. I always say, actually, mm. on my on my um, uh, pages, it says, please do not open these in, in windy condition <laughs> because you will end up in a heap in the trees somewhere. Trust me. <laughs> Yeah, so these are some more pattern. I assume that's your kind of starter pattern, is it? Yes, in the that's white? starter pattern. So that's, those are based on Hawks wings. That is for the character Hawks from... What is that anime called now? I can see the image. I've not actually watched the anime yet. It's on my must-watch list, but he is a character that has red wings um, by the name of Hawks. Um, I've actually got another set of those to make next year. Ooh, very nice. Same character, yes. And that red, I absolutely loved that red so much. <laughs> Not so much making them that yeah, red, but, but I love the red. Yeah. Oh, here we go. The blue wings. <laughs> <laughs> but I, had to, I had to put these in because I know how much fun <laughs> you had making these. <laughs> I totally cheated with those. John, I need a thousand foam feathers, please. <laughs> <laughs> I will pay you. <laughs> I just put them together. Um, those were the those are the to date the smallest set I've made. Um, using the foam for the feathers had it was a nightmare in on and of itself because foam is a lot thicker than feathers and doesn't fold the same. But they are so cute. I put them on, and I, when I put the the frame together, I mean the um, the outer wing strut is like this long, and I was like, "This is not right. <laughs> <laughs> this is not right. This is too small." <laughs> but they they are adorable. I absolutely love the color of those wings. But yes, I did a lot of 
swearing. Those are all painted with color shift. So mm. they've all got each of those feathers is individually painted one at a time. <laughs> Two coats, both sides. <laughs> yeah. I, I just remember coming into your stream and all you were doing was these stupid, stupid feathers. <laughs> You were, you know, they're not working. They're not bending the right way. They're not doing this. They're not doing that. I, I will be honest. I had a good bitch fit for those. I really did. Oh, uh, 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 quick cats! I do it to myself. Uh, cats! I totally do it to myself, and but, I complain, and then I look at it at the end and go, "Oh, they're so pretty," and then I'll do them again. Uh, <laughs> But then, when you look at something like this, how amazing! That's those ones. Yeah, that's the that's the owner of these these yeah. wings that I'm going to be doing because those were done in the old style when I was still making the feathers out of fabric. Yeah, the main flight feathers. They're now made out of foam, so they're a good four kilos lighter with all the adjustments I've made since I made that set. So you're giving them an upgrade now. Yeah. That is Miss Testicle. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Great Much name. Too ju uh, uh, totally. Uh, I had that up on my a uh, website. That's right. Junior was having a look at, because he's my computer geek. Yep. He was having a look at uh, what my website was acting funny. So I said to him, have a look at it and see what's wrong with it. And he came downstairs and he says, Mom, do you really want this name on your website? <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, when you see them on someone, yes. you know, just how amazing they are. You yes, know, and, and I bow them chuffed to bits. I mean, these are probably the thickest um, wing covers because I used an entire kilo bag of feathers on those. <laughs> And whenever I see them, I just want to hug them, <laughs> snuggle them. <laughs> They're so fluffy. <laughs> yeah. A similar use than a drag act for, yes. for this person. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You know, um, and... He wants me to possibly make him a set of 10 foot folding butterfly wings. Wow. That's, That's going to be fun. I, and interesting. I, I can't wait to see you attempt that one. <laughs> Thanks so much. Because, <laughs> you know, that is, that is going to be a great one for like for streaming oh, especially yeah, definitely. you know yes i have to definitely keep the adult you know. thing on my stream though because there will be much swearing <laughs> much, yeah, much nothing wrong with swearing. that but that's what the mature filters for you know yeah that's that's what you can say if she, if she ever gets a new key drag race i bet she'll take your wings on exactly i hope so yeah that would be so cool yeah and the, you know you know, and that's the thing, like having, you know, making all these contacts for you has been, you know, it's just helped it has, push. It's quite a slow build, but to be honest, I'm actually happier that way because while I, like I say, I love making the wings, but I am exhausted when I'm finished set. Absolutely yeah. exhausted because it's mentally and physically taxing. Um, constantly, you're doing a lot of physical labor and you're fighting with it a lot. Um wrestling it trying to get it to fit together um make sure everything lines up because um things move <laughs> so you've got one you've got one wing strut on and the other one's going wee 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 on the other side and you're like yeah yeah and you're trying to hold these oh no yeah <laughs> <laughs> so by the end of it i'm done for at least a yeah. week before i want to look at anything feather related so yeah i probably do between three and six of these a year maximum yeah but you know they're, they're a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah. You can put pixel wings on stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, but, uh, let's see. We've got a video, actually, here. Oh, is that my to show, wings evolution? Yeah, thing. so we can show, show them all off. This is an evolution. Yes. Oh. Here we go. Whoa! Wow! Check it out! 
He grew wings, Kevin. Do you recognize the hotel? I recognize that hotel. <laughs> said uh, the Maleficent ones. Indeed, yes. <laughs> They're your most I've recent ones. Um, <laughs> well, no, that's, well, that's, that's a well, you've just made a second pair, haven't you? No, this is the third one. Is it the third pair? Wow. Third pair of Maleficent wings I've made, yeah. Um, she's particularly popular. Um, <laughs> I've got a possible, fingers crossed, because I, I so badly want to make these. Somebody wants a set of Maleficent style wings um but he wants them done in peacock colors Ooh. at first he said he wanted them done with peacock feathers <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, I kind of thought to myself what 15 20 grand well, at least because of the price of the feathers yeah um because i would probably be needing an excess of what four or five thousand peacock feathers Mm -hmm. I would denude every peacock in the world <laughs> in one day. Just, just a bit, yeah. <laughs> so I persuaded him to go with the standard. And also the whole, those are tail feathers, not wing feathers. You can't use them in wings. Those are tail feathers. <laughs> I had to fight with myself about that one. Uh, your um, OCD would be kicking in at that point. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 yeah, my, my, my uh, OCD was kicking in big time. So I persuaded him. I did a very, very quick sketch of standard wing feathers but with the peacock slightly bulb bulbous on the end with a peacock eye on it but he he oh oh that was the other thing he also wanted them in there's a term for it but basically it's a black and white peacock the, f the feathers the, the peacock is actually black with white eyes on the tail the whole peacock right. is black it's a, it's like a um, mutation um so i was looking at having to die by that many either pre-dyed um, feathers but then he wanted them in white and silver so i would have had to paint all those feathers as well and, <laughs> and paint each one ah, no, oh. no, 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 so we, we we did a compromise and i would stack um the black feathers actual peacock feathers in the wing cover so that they would instead of like the the um, turkey feather, I would put peacock tail feathers there. Uh -huh. So he would then have the the peacock shapes. Cafe, no, Cafe Noir. No, white, not cream. I had a suggestion there of a huge opening peacock tail. Um, <laughs> uh, that is been discussed quite extensively mm -hmm. we've actually worked out how to do it yes <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh right um let's jump on to the next bit. I'll tell you what what we'll do is we'll take a little break from okay. looking at your stuff uh, yes. and, we'll, and we'll jump over to the weekly showcase let's go look at the weekly let's showcase go have a look. yeah so this is where everyone on the discord uh let's jump Get the right window, Colin. Right window. Discord. Discord. There we go. There we go. Everyone uh, has put in the weekly showcase section uh, some submissions. Let me find the right thing. What I need to put in. PowerPoint. 
find the right PowerPoint for this one. Uh, that one there. There we are. Weekly showcase, weekly show offs. So if you if you if you've ever made anything incoming, oh, we've got another raid. Mismatch socks. Thank you so much for that raid. <laughs> welcome in. Welcome in. Hope your ra your stream as well went well. Thank you for that sub. Let's drop those newts. Maybe we can get this thing going. Woo! Dropping those newts. Oh, wonky. Dear newts. Thank you so much. Thank you for that raid. Dang it, Liza, now I want cake. You want cake? Why did you have to mention cake? Now I want cake. <laughs> never, never. Oh, I could the Thanksgiving feast and you got to watch. Lovely, lovely. Hope it everyone, hope it all, all, all my American friends and anyone else that celebrates Thanksgiving is having an, an amazing Thanksgiving. Hope you are all enjoying day. themselves. Yep. Hope you're enjoying, enjoying that turkey. It's all been good. Thank, Thanksgiving feast for one. Oh. Bye bye. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so let you know. Let's have a look and see what people have submitted for this week. If you have anything, anything creative, anything at all, uh, be it music, sure. art, you know, and some of you've made it a game, anything at all, we want to see it. Mm. You know. So sure. for, so first off, we have from Sesquimo a couple of amazing images. It's so cute. Look at these. How amazing are those? the nose <laughs> so <laughs> look at look at that look at those bunnies look at them so cute uh, and you know even down to uh, um, the the blocks actually spell it in names she was saying so it's a uh, Wob and Isaac is the names on these uh, it's you know and Sesquimo is always really good with with all her work, you know, just like the colouring, shading, you know, cool. you know everything. Look, they've even got noses as well, Sesquimo. They've got noses. The snoot. <laughs> Give her all your money, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> So they are they are amazing. I love this cat. It's just you know it's you know perfect shape. You know, it's, mm, I you guess know. it's perfect kitty shape there. Yeah, <laughs> it's all nice and snuggled in. I love it. So there we go. Look at that. Next up, we have a submission from Qcat. She's done some gorgeous crochet. And look at this. Oh, it's so adorable. Oh, look at those shoes. It's those shoes. They just make it. Baby outfits. You know. It's Disney first of all, so it wins me over straight away. Yeah. Wins Did me I... over straight away. Uh... <laughs> Little shoes. Yeah, you know, and look at look at that tail on Mickey as well. <laughs> it's brilliant. You know, you know, like you know, I'm 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 just in awe of people that can do crochet and all this sort of thing. Like Same. it's it's a black Same. art. It's a total black art. Uh -huh. Hopeless <laughs> thing. Oh, I failed so badly. Yeah. <laughs> Don't have the patience for it. Or the yeah. finger dexterity. Yeah. I end up with my fingers in a knot and drop stitches <laughs> every day. Welsh oh, thank you for that follow. I don't need to figure out why that thing's going so loud. <laughs> I still not figured that one out. Um, up next, we have uh, Trevor Durst. Has done this 3D printing of the it's a levitating table or tension table. Uh, she didn't hear the swearing, Quicket. <laughs> <laughs> didn't hear the swearing. <laughs> yeah. That is seriously yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's you know, like that. You know, I, I love this this sort of thing. You know, like 
you know, the 3D printing is really well done on its own. Like, first of all, these struts bits are hard to get on its own when you're 3D printing. Uh -huh. You know, <laughs> you've got a 3D printer as well. Try to get the supports off that yeah. if you've managed, or if you've managed to print it without supports, damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, the actual, you know, then the engineering bit for making sure that this all is tensioned right as well. Because this is, this is a table and it's all about the tension. So, you know, it's two parts. So, you know, it makes it look like it's floating because it all works on some weird tension physics that I don't understand. No, me either. Me either. <laughs> and it's got a cute little crystal on top as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got a geode on top, exactly. <laughs> and turn off. No, we don't. No, we don't turn off. <laughs> oh. That's total witchcraft to me. Oh. Shit. There we are. Uh, and up next we have from Diorama Llama a pixel art planet site of the uh, Cybertron that he created on his channel. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, this was this was my suggestion <laughs> for my. Uh, he was he was oh, doing he was doing evil. Uh, he was he was doing planets. Okay. Uh, uh, so you of, went to Cybertron. Uh, and he would he wanted you know, he if I was I was allowed to choose mine. And I was like, Could I have Cybertron please? And he was like, Yes. So he created this amazing piece. And he's talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> totally evil. Totally evil. <laughs> Yeah, you know, and you know he created this the majority of this on stream. And the man is an amazing pix pixel artist, and still talking. Yeah, he's still talking to me. He is still talking to me. Just oh, what what happened there? What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, pre I'm pressing the wrong buttons. <laughs> Fingers. Hello, pixels. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> pressing the wrong buttons to type typing a diorama llama's name. Yeah, he's he's yeah. <laughs> so <Yeah>. me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> good try, Lama. Good try. Error. Nice one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Lama, Lama, you know, just does so much amazing work with the pixels, you know, and it's just like down, uh, you know, how you can just place just like a couple of pixels just to create that shading and detail, and it's something because this is tiny, really. There was this what I six. Uh, 64 by 64, I think. The hell, I would rather sew another set of wing covers than a tent. <laughs> yeah. I completely lose my mind. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that's, you know, the craziness that, you know, people like Lama can make, <laughs> you know, and such a small, confined piece mm. of work but like you know like llama was last week's guest and he was saying he likes having that as a, a you know yeah. that constraint a constraint yeah constraints can sometimes be very good they teach you to think yeah and next up we have a uh, from make mistakes he made a wooden femur from a piece of pine an entire bone <laughs> Is it bad that I have the first thing I thought of when I saw that was, ooh, who can I hit with it? <laughs> that, that, that's it. That says it all for you. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> but that would make an awesome weapon. It's almost as good as a frying pan. Oh. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Stephen <Stephanie Lewacker. laughs> Totally. <laughs> Oh, but that was, you know, that that was pretty much created out of one single piece of pine. They did that. So it was, you know, he drew it out on all four sides, uh, made the cuts on the bandsaw, put it back, put it back together, cut the next edge, 
put it back together, cut the next edge, uh, you know, did it that way. You yeah, know, I don't know that's, do that. 3D out of a block. I, yeah. I, I, I can't. My brain doesn't work that way. Yeah. I can build things. I can't carve things. <laughs> it's just so amazing how people can actually do that. You know, and, you know, he's he created all that and then sanded it down and made it look even, you know, like super smooth. The guy, you know, he's a genius, that man. He knows what he's doing, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. He knows what he's up to. Uh, and there we go. That's all the weekly showcase. Thank you so much, everyone, that put in an entry this week. Amazing stuff, amazing stuff. You guys are all amazing. Love it when you give me yeah. give us things to have a look at. Mm. If you, you know, if you've got anything for next week, stick it in the jump into the Discord. Stick it in the weekly makes. I'll be a most next week's guest. We'll be able to have a look at it and have their have their say on it as well. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> next time have some, something new. It doesn't matter if it's something new, something old. You know, we just want to see things because that's the you know it's all part of this. You know. You're a while before I could put something in there. Those <laughs> violins take forever. Just end. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoy doing that, don't you? Uh, no. No, no, you don't. No, no. I really, really, really don't. don't. <laughs> sanding with the passion. Yeah, as long as it's twitch appropriate. Exactly, Auntie. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So let's jump back over here. Why is this? No, that'd be why. So, we talked a bit about the wrestling before. Good. You know, and you do a lot of work for wrestlers making yes, ring gear. Specifically for this uh, Ginny, um, known as the fashionista. Yeah. Uh, let's say that's not my photo on the left. At least that's on my left. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's not my photo. That's James. That's the yeah. man responsible for the wings. I blame him. <laughs> 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 yep. But yes, uh, he took such an incredible photo of the costume and Ginny in it that I asked very, very nicely if I could use it. And he said he was kind enough to say yes. Yeah, he is, he is a really good photographer as well. He, you know, he, he knows, he knows what he's on about. Oh, God. <laughs> and he's so much fun to watch work. Oh, as yeah. Well. He, like, he's yeah. hysterically funny. Oh, you've just watched him when he's just talking. You know, like when he does... Uh, I've, to few, I've helped at a few of his classes as yeah. well. Been to a few and helped at a few. Oh. And he has to be at the stitches. You know, the... Uh, it's a little... Uh, you know, he's got... He's, he's kind of got that wrestler mentality. He literally is... Uh, <laughs> cutting a promo <laughs> at times when he's up in front of people. <laughs> yeah. He, he's incredible. I don't know how he does it. I take my hat off to that man. I really do. Right? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, so I can't get it to paint my son's viola then. Uh, not if you wanted to still keep working afterwards. <laughs> 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 uh, I yeah. have only so far managed to have one violin that still plays after me painting it, but that was a complete mm -hmm. gamble. <laughs> so here's more that you've done for Jenny. So From design stage to completion. Yeah. So, and like, then, for this one here, did you start off talking about being green and then... The, she wanted green and gold. Yeah. What she does is she finds various inspirational images online. And she'll send me a whole bunch of them in Pinterest. And I'll go through and then I will come up with a basic sort of design based on what she has asked for. Um, and I, her stuff is generally out of uh, vinyl the, the gold is vinyl, um, um, heat set vinyl, and then a bazillion, gajillion number of rhinestones. I remember you trying to put all the rhinestones on this one. <laughs> I redid that one. Yeah. <gasps> Sorry, excuse me for a sec. Yep, no problem. My coffee fairy. My coffee fairy. Oh. <laughs> it's still too hot, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, um, I actually had to redo that one completely yeah uh, i was literally doing the final pressing on it oh. uh, to properly set the rhinestones and i i was a little nervous with the vinyl and the heat press that i had so i grabbed some what i thought was cotton 
This still makes me want to cry. <laughs> it happened to be red. It turns out it was poly cotton. Heat steam set the color into the green. You, I could see oh, it. No. It was a complete costume. I had to. I basically had to redo in two days what took me five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, especially if it was because it was going to be on TV. It was going to show. Yes, it's going to show. Well, the thing is, I people probably wouldn't have noticed it. Yeah. But I could see an iron shaped mark on her on the butt. Yeah. And I was just like, I, I can't. I, I I can't I can't send this to her. So um yeah, I redid the whole thing. It actually turned out better the second time. So not really <laughs> you're, <better>. you're happier. <laughs> I was much happier. The gold lined yeah. up a lot better and everything. So Yeah. Mom socks. Yeah, Mom socks is here. Hello, Mom Socks. Yeah. yeah. So the, you know these are just so amazing, and so these these are, you know, you're you're designing for wrestlers, so you're you know you're designing for in in ring work as well. So um, in ring work uh, for Ginny only, um, because of the type of outfit she wear, she tends to wear all in ones. Yeah. Rather than the sort of crop top and shorts, um, I will leave that sort of gear to the professionals i will stick to the sort of stuff Ginny wears so it's a lot easier to work with because it's basically a play suit as they call it mm -hmm. or bodysuit and then her skirts and her jackets that she has that i make mm -hmm. for her so you know it's you know it's, it's, she, she's uh she's quite fine with how you make them so that she's still able to perform in them yes. without any issues yes yeah because yes. i know you know, you know, there's there's specific needs for the for all wrestlers. <laughs> they, they tend to contort themselves and throw themselves around. You don't want a wardrobe malfunction yeah. at that point in time. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's uh, definite. So, here's some more. You know, ah, you know. muscle cat. Yes, that is a full leather coat. You know, like. So how did how did this one come about? Was this? Uh, he is part of the same NXT as Ginny. Um, he saw some of my work and said to me, "I want to," because he he's known as the Muscle Cat. Right. Um, he wanted something uh, not rustic. What's the word I'm looking for? Something tattered. Tattered. Something that looks like it's just been patched together. Yeah, very much patchwork very much bodged together um as you can see from my design sketch tattered even bodged work has to be done neatly it looks yep. like a tenuous <laughs> film <laughs> yep. it almost broke me to try and but then all i did literally was take bits of leather i had the pattern cut uh, out of paper laid the leather sort of on it stitched all the leather together and then cut the pattern out and stitched mm -hmm. it back together again. So, and then he wanted those panels on the side, which I got printed. They're um, paintings, panel paintings from churches. Right. Amazing. And then obviously the big artwork on the back. Yeah. Mm. So, you know, so was this for a big event for him, or was this just as part of uh, his this standard? Was one, of his, one of his entrance jackets. Right. He still wears it, as far as I'm aware. Oh, excellent! So you know, so, you know. So has this led? Has this led to more work with them, or are you still just mainly working for? Um, yes, I didn't add the other work I've done for him. That's yeah, you know, but you are still getting more work I, I, with. I, I, yeah, with, yeah. I, I painted some shorts for him. Yeah, yeah, you know. But that you know, are they? You know, are you are you getting recommended to other people within like? I am. Yes. Yeah. Um, I get um, different. I, I've, it's mainly Ginny, Nina, and uh, Muscle Cat that I've been working with. I've had one or two other inquiries, but because I don't do the gear as well as the um, ring, the, the ring gear as well as the entrance, it sometimes they prefer to have it all sort of in one hit. Yeah. But I'm now uh, I've I've done work with a couple of other. Um, ring gear makers where they will make the gear for me and I will then um, bedazzle the be 
Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but that, you know, that, but there's the thing there when you're able to kind of go, well, I can offer everything even though I don't make everything. You know, it's like, uh, you know. I, I, I have gotten a few sort of, what, you don't make it? Mm, yeah. Why would they want what currently from me would be an inferior product because I have no experience in making that sort of gear? Yeah. When I can charge, you know, the same pretty much, get somebody else to do that work for me and I get to do the fun bits. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Where's the but at downside? least yeah, exactly. You know, it's you know, and and I you know, it it I assume for them that's probably a a, a kind of new concept for them. So you're probably so used to getting it from that one person that does it all. Yes, you know. yes. Um, but as Muscle Cat particularly likes the sort of design work I do. Yeah. Which, um, because I'm doing painting on fabric, that sort of thing, which a lot of the other gear uh, makers don't offer because it's a whole other skill yeah so um i get the gear makers to do what they do best and then i do what i do best mm. and we all win yeah and it's, <laughs> it's that bit of just kind of slowly changing that perception perhaps and you know oh, yes, kind of just getting those getting those guys to go well she doesn't make it but she'll make it look good for you <laughs> yeah um, i've got some work from the gear makers as well so basically to me it's working with them um i don't see people as my competition yeah. and if i can find somebody who can do something that i either can't or am not as good as at i am quite happy to pay them to do so yeah i don't to me it's not a competition that we the, that pond is more than big enough for everybody so share the love yeah, share the love. <laughs> so, very much a thing sharing that love. Mm. Uh, where are we? we are on to oh, another another moment. another fun thing that you get in, up to cosplay. Oh God, <laughs> <laughs> <It's> so bad. <laughs> this is not bad. This was a good cosplay that you did. You I created. Almost died. That cosplay almost killed me. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever worn double layered Duchess satin in 37 degree London heat? Uh, no. I'd recommend it. <laughs> really, really don't. <laughs> so, you know, this was your this was your first proper fight uh, for me. For, yeah, your foray into cosplay proper for yourself. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And I picked that character because she had purple hair, and so did I at that time. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I have, and she was part of a game. Not a clue. Yeah, he just he just saw the character and went, I want to be that character. She matched my yeah, hair. Um, yeah, the hair it's totally matches. Totally what I'm going to we be doing. Do <laughs> you know, and this was kind of, you know, the you know you did all this, you did all nearly all of this on stream, as well. Yes, I pretty much did yeah. all of that on stream. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you, know, you had, did you have you had, you were getting advice from people like the Foam Wizard and oh yes, Foam other, Wizard. Yeah, and some other people. Yeah. <laughs> No, there, there, was, there was much advice offered, thank God, yeah. because um, my foam work, besides making feathers, is still very, very rusty. Yeah, but you know, it's, it's you know, you can see from there though, is that how how good it's it's coming out. Just you know, even just on the starting basic works, and then you know, looking there, <laughs> <Ta -da>! you know, <laughs> you know, hey, look at that. Oh, but that, oh my God, the dress. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't quite take into consideration how big my butt actually is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like full dress on day before, cos uh, before convention. Oh, thank God I left a big seam on the back. <laughs> uh, but, like, you know, don't even just making your own props and, as well, doing the full cosplay thing. You, know, oh, yes, you made yes, everything yes. from scratch. You I know. did indeed. Everything was from scratch on this one. Yeah, and that's the that's the thing, you know. You know, that's you know your sort of thing is you know you're doing everything from, you know, from scratch, and here you are at the convention, oh, Jesus, looking yes. like you were having fun. It was kind of fun, yes. Yeah, um, apart from the heat. We, oh dear lord, <laughs> yeah, both. That's um, 
I, I refer that's uh, my cousin-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> I called her my cousin-in-law. She had my Assassin's Creed that mm. I made ooh, a good few years ago. Mm. That was MCM London. Yes. Back in the before I times. <laughs> yeah, back in the before times, you're not wrong. <laughs> but see, you looked fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, and that's, you know, you know, and you went out there, you did it, and you enjoyed I did, yourself. I did. Yes, I learned a hell of a lot. A, make sure you put straps on it, <laughs> <laughs> on both the dress and the thing, because constantly having to hike your breastplate up is not my idea of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. <laughs> oh. oh, the the fun, the fun. Oh yes, you know. well, we suffer for our art. Yeah. Oh, you do, you do. You know, it but then, you know, th you know, you get into things like making, you know, props and cosplay. You know, these things here. You're making, you know, Nuka Cola bottoms. Uh, that was for Junior's birthday party. Yep. Yeah, he takes full advantage of having a maker for a mother. <laughs> <laughs> well, so that, that, to do those bottle lids. <laughs> did, it, did, you know, did the party go well, though? That was the thing. It went down very well, except the cake was the cake looked good, but apparently didn't taste so good. Oh, well, <laughs> to be a maker. I can make it look good though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that, that's the thing, though, is that you're you know you're a maker mother. You know, I am. You know, so, so you know, you know, it's it's that bit where you know you've got a son that wants. <laughs> I have done Zorn, yes. Yeah. I made a whole stack. <laughs> you know. Oh God, yes. <laughs> you know, this was. <laughs> this, 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 this is Junior. Yep. Yeah. Um, I shouldn't say that so loud because he's going to have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell anyone I put this up. Um, <laughs> yes, he had a book. He had to write a book and they had to design a book cover. So of course, mom's being mom being a maker and a photographer, mm -hmm. I got total I got taken advantage of. Totally taken advantage of. <laughs> and the little the, the little so and so snuck up on me and got me with both steampunk and Star Trek. <laughs> so yes, but he the image the main image where he stood there he did the composite on that. <laughs> Along with the wording yeah. and everything. I had nothing to do with the actual putting that image together. I just gave him the makings thereof, showed him how to cut things out, and he did it in about half an hour, the bastard. <laughs> it's showing you <laughs> up. <laughs> totally showing you <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah. Now, everyone in the chat wants you to adopt them now. <laughs> <laughs> that is Junior, but that is Junior many, many years ago. Yeah. Is that, he's he's a bit older now. <laughs> Yeah, he's now taller than me. Uh, <laughs> oh, but of adopt his wannabes. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. yeah, and other, other, you know, when you're taking, like, cosplay, but you're taking it into other levels. You know, here's uh, it was Assassin's Creed. The Assassin's Creed, yes. Oh, that yeah. was fun. Yeah. I, oh, I totally, I dived down the rabbit hole for this one. Oh, that totally dived down the rabbit hole. Um, oh, Junior played this a lot mm -hmm. uh, on uh, the Xbox, and I watched him play it a lot. And I've always been fascinated, especially with the um, American Indian history and the folklore and that sort of thing. And he is of that descent, Connor Kenway. I, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it, his full name. Um, so I got the book, and I managed to track down a pattern uh, a historically accurate pattern for the jacket of the time. Uh, the amount of research that went into the actual making of the game was mind blowing, absolutely mind blowing. And I had such fun making this. I really did. That's all out of um, suede and denim. Wow. It weighs a bloody ton. It would do. Yeah. And someone was asking, is that perler beads that you used for? Uh, those beads? are hammer beads. Yeah. <laughs> yeah same thing i think yeah yes I, yeah, yeah that uh, unfortunately by that point i'd spent the entire budget on the fabric <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're making use of what other things you could use and well yes. here's the thing though that no one would notice really <laughs> no no you know? probably not no, 
I want to redo that because they, they've come apart. Some of them have come apart, which yeah. is a bit sad. First time weaving beads. That was um, interesting. Very yeah. interesting. I had any holes in my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> but like just, the, you know, all the detail and work that you've went into there, like buttons there, you know, were oh. the, did you source those buttons? Did, you know... I, um, I never was able to find a source of the actual style buttons that they use in the game. And they actually have sketches yeah. of the buttons. They were old coins. They used to make buttons out of old coins. Um, so I went with, unfortunately, what I could find, which were all bright silver. So they had to be aged and matted down and whatnot. But as close as I could find to the accurate um, button. Right. Uh, now, in that picture, is that a, a Photoshop towel or an actual oh, owl no. that you used? There's an actual owl. His name was, his name is, his, his, name, his name is Eric. He was... Oh. Um, six months old wow biggest talons you have ever seen they were the same size as my hands his talons he was beautiful and fluffy and so cute i wanted to take him home <laughs> him and that, kevin the vulture. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been some shit to do yeah. oh it was good fun um <laughs> it really was good fun i got to meet oh i can't remember her name now she's a. Uh, she was a falcon at the time, um, so falcon and eagle, uh, which is the one I wanted to use. But unfortunately, she was into her teenage years. All right. Damn, she was bitchy. <laughs> <laughs> she basically just sat there with her wings up and just hissed at everybody who came to her. <laughs> Such an attitude. Oh dear. <laughs> so we confused her, unfortunately, but um, I did get to meet her. I got hissed at and All backed right. away. So yes. Oh well. <laughs> But, you know, you still created this amazing image, you know, oh, between, you know, your your amazing costuming uh, along with, you know, you know, the real life props of a, an actual owl. Yes. <laughs> that was yeah. awesome. That was really good fun. I enjoyed that shoot thoroughly. Uh, what do we have here? This is... Oh, God. <laughs> I did put a behind the scenes in. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah. what it looks like when I take the photo and yeah. what it looks like when I'm done with it. It's not exactly. the best of photos, Photoshop-wise, but it was a concept that never really worked. But the only one where I had of me actually photographing yeah. the person and then the final image. Yeah, which is, you know, it gives an idea, you know, because a lot of the yeah. time people go, all right, how do you actually make these, these images? And it's like a lot of work and <laughs> effort a lot of the time. <laughs> I yeah. have a lot of post, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Especially when you're doing stuff outdoors. Yes. You, you, know, um, you, you, know, you don't have that control. Mm -mm. No, no, the, the light is what it is. You can control it to a certain extent, but not totally. Yeah. yeah. That, that was an insane shoot. Oh. What was it? 11 models, one day, 12 <laughs> the following shoot. All with costumes and um, photography and makeup. That sounds like you a know. crazy, crazy time. It was insane, utterly insane. Which is probably why half the images didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was it was, a, was that a group of you doing it as well, or yeah, it, was, it yeah. was me taking the photos, and then I had a whole stack of friends and people who volunteered to come in and be um, guinea pigs. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah no wonder. Yeah, you know, so. You know, you have seen a bit of your workshop there, but you know, yeah. here's oh. <laughs> here's, my, a, my here's some more that you've sent us. <laughs> That's my cupboard of shame. That's my yeah. garage. That's yeah. the back wall of my garage. All those yeah. costumes. Yeah, I'm That's... a bit of a hoarder. <laughs> yeah, it's, you, you keep hold of everything then. <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you never know when they might come in handy again. You mean? Yes, you can see peeking out there the very, very, very first costume. Yep. <laughs> you can see the Harlequin pattern in there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's everything in there. Look, there's some, you know, mannequins. Like there's half a mannequin. There's some yeah. legs. There's that's, a lawnmower. That's, <laughs> that's it. It's the garage. Yeah. There's a bike. <laughs> yeah, somebody's bike. <laughs> 
Yeah. Then you know, there's your there's your editing sword as well over the other side. My editing sword. It's <laughs> changed around a little since then. It's my desk is now facing the actual wall rather than under the bookcase like that. Yeah. But um yes, that's where I used to do all my editing. Yeah, and then you know, your actual place of work where you are. Yes, as well. where I am now. It's <laughs> and emptier at that point in time. <laughs> no, yeah, you told me that you'd tidied up. I did. That's the scary part. I have tidied. <laughs> I get okay. <laughs> uh, so I was wondering, what's the best way to take care of your feather creations? Um, these particular wings, um, I don't, in the previous image, you actually saw them hanging up in the garage, um, hanging them up is the best way to look after them and the actual wing covers um i'll just zoom that like that there we go you see how i've got it on on a hanger it's actually on a hanger and it's hanging like that that's probably the best way to look after them um let's go to to another side the big white ones yeah so they are yeah up like that yeah 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 another iconic image of yours probably most the most iconic image of yours i would say oh why am i suddenly nervous <laughs> <laughs> no this is a good one this is a good one no, okay. good, 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 this good. is a, this is a proper iconic image of yours this oh, is right. this is your maleficent ah yes <laughs> yeah this is this is the one that that really got you really noticed i think it really, really did. Maleficent, yes, is my favorite, one of my favorite people in it as well, Jade. Yeah. She's as mad as I am. Yeah. And you made everything here. Yes. Every, you know, from the staff yeah. to the corns to the entire everything. outfit. Everything was photo. all made. Yeah, and yeah. then did all the editing. Yeah. So from start yeah. to finish, that is all mine. Yeah. I'm very, very proud of that image. Yeah, it was... You know, it's such a such an iconic image that you you know it, you know oh, when that's you... Clyde. no I didn't make Clyde 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 is a decoy crow yeah <laughs> Clyde crow. I, can't Clyde. Yeah. I did add feathers to him though yeah <laughs> you worked on him <laughs> I did work on him he got yeah. edited <laughs> yeah yeah and the work that my props do get names and so do all my mannequins <laughs> yeah you know and the work that went into all this was astounding wasn't it you know if, you know because hey. you know. We've got kind of your like concept. This is 2014, yeah. you know. <laughs> yes, I actually dated this one for a change. Yeah. Um, and this was also done. It was blasted cold. Poor Jade froze her what's its off in that outfit because, as warm as it looks, it's the thinnest, plasticiest leather look fabric you can find. <laughs> yeah, we can even date it by the uh, pawn stars in the background there. <laughs> oh God, yes. <laughs> What I was watching there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't work in that in that section anymore. I'm no yeah. longer allowed in the lounge. Apparently, I make too much mess. You make too much mess. Yeah. Well, look at you know, like you know, just like you're looking at just how you created those those horns. You know, those long before the days of a three three D yeah. printer. Now three D print them. Yeah. You know. You know, and then. Getting you know, them smashed my head in. <laughs> that, <sighs> that would have been a nightmare to try and do all that. Oh, with sellotape as well and yeah. pins. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. And how about the actual outfit? What was that all made from? The, that is like a leatherette, a very, very thin leatherette, the main dress, and then um, with a huge feather collar. I mean, the feather collar came up sort of above her head. Um, with mainly rooster tail feathers, so you've got the green and the blues going through. And then the rest was um, a faux fur. And that is where I learned that you cut faux fur from the back with a scalpel very, very carefully, and you have your vacuum cleaner taped to the desk next to you. (laughs) Tell us why. Because you get hair balls. (laughs) You literally get hair balls. (laughs) And you just look at the floor, you can see all the way around that that brown mottled effect. That's all yeah. fur. On all right. The floor. It, oh, dear Lord, that was bad. Were you finding it for days after? Was it a bit like glitter? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, oh, 
not just it's worse than glitter because it makes you itch. Oh. <laughs> At least it oh no. <laughs> and that stuff floats. It's like what down, feather down. It just gets everywhere. Dear. No. No. But yeah. I'm, I've still got that costume, and I love that costume. I do want to. I want to get that out again. I want to make a set of Maleficent wings, and I want to shoot with that costume <laughs> and the Maleficent wings. So is that you know that's your that is that what's going to get you back into doing more photography for you? Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, because I've not. You've not. Have you done much in the way of photography for yourself recently, or uh, those wings? The, the 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 angel image was the last incoming oh, we've got some What's readers and summer hey. thank you so much for that raid thank you how would how did your stream go <laughs> Thank you for that follow. Welcome in, welcome in. Let's are so calm. <laughs> Not on my end, they're really loud. <laughs> oh, they're really loud. I they're so calm my side. I would end up throwing things across the room again as turn to <laughs> Oh, But yeah, these are, uh, you know, really nice. You know, it's, it's all kind of worked out so nicely for you uh, well, what were we talking we were talking about you doing photos yeah so yeah yes. the, the angel one was the last one you did so that's that's a good long time ago one. yeah it was a good long time ago yes um my camera hasn't come out much at all unfortunately like yeah. i said i don't have time yeah. yeah um for me i was looking at maybe trying to find cosplayers to photograph so i could still do the images without having to do all the costuming work for them because mm -hmm. I don't have time to sit and spend two months making a costume to photograph when I actually now have to earn a living doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Very much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, the next one we have here is oh, Medusa. Uh, here's ah, yes. here's a really a really lovely one that you made here. Oh, so that was part of the same shoot as Eros earlier. Yeah dude with the holding the planets this was part of the same shoot and as you can see he was taken towards the end of the day because the creativity was nil. <laughs> everyone was like given up by that point <laughs> yes whereas medusa um i that that was fun to make that that headpiece um that's your normal rubber snakeys that yep. i lay next all together onto head it weighs a bloody ton it is so heavy. That piece. It's so fun. They, they'd all just sit and wobble at you. <laughs> you move. I just sort of get there. So, 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 so she's not um, actually posing there. She's just trying to keep the weight up there, right? Yeah, she's going to get to the force of the thing to pull her So what about the actual front plate here? What was that made from? That's foam. Is it foam? All right. That's made out of foam with um um what do you call it? Trim glued down. Um, so that front piece, and then the fabric was literally the most simple. The 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 the, the top is literally tied. Yeah. It's a strip of fabric run through a loop and then tied around the back, and the skirt is just two panels stitched to a belt. Um. I mean, would you believe my model is 50? No, you wouldn't believe that at all. Not at all. Not a wrinkle on her. Cow. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Love it to bits, but cow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just a, you know, you know, model. You know, is she a professional model or? Um, She's a burlesque dancer. Ah. Uh -huh. um, well, not so much anymore, unfortunately, because, well. Yeah. Situation. Yeah. <laughs> situation um yeah. she's a burlesque dancer she also um she did some modeling on the side as well um and she was an absolute pleasure to work with she really was an yeah. absolute game for whatever ideas i came up with we had <laughs> so much fun at that shoot oh, superb you know uh, you know it's, you know for a very simple 
design that you've made here. You know, you've created an amazing image from it. You know. I didn't, I wanted the costume, I didn't want the costume to be too overwhelming. Yeah. Um, I, I've definitely noticed that in my work, to start off when you have a look at like the Alice image, yeah. with all the details all the way around. Um, whereas in this one, there were very, very few details, but it still tells the story as much as, I th as I think as much as Alice did, it still tells the same amount of story. And there is a lot of detail in the costume itself that you can then find. Um, there was a snake there as well, but he looked too rubbery. She had a, <laughs> she did a burlesque act with a big stuffed snake. So I stuck him in as well, but he just didn't quite look the, right. Yeah. yeah. So I photoshopped him out. <laughs> All right. All right. So there was actually a snake in that shot. He's just been taken out. Big, big, big ass, um, what was a python style stuffed snake in that one? All right. You got yeah. photoshopped. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good Photoshop then. <laughs> uh, here we go. There's this. Uh, the gen again. Same model as the Harlequin. Yes. I did her no favors in that image. No. I she, we, The makeup was harsh as heck and I photoshopped her to look haggard. Mm-hmm. Um, and she pulled it off with the plum. She really did. She was this my, this one is of my a ones. Morrigan, wasn't this one? Was no, name? this is Queen Ravenna from Queen, Snow yeah, White. That's what it is. Queen Ravenna from Snow White, yes. Hence the apple. Yeah. Which was there. I forgot to bring the apple. <laughs> <laughs> you, had to, you had to shop that one in. <laughs> I had to shop that one in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and here we go again. More feathers. Oh, yes. The feathers yeah, keep yeah. coming back. Feather, fe yeah. You know. Feathers is your thing, though. It is totally, completely, yeah. utterly. I think I shared two of that image because the day we went out and photographed, there was mist. All right. So, very much mist. Yeah. And I went with the misty look, but I didn't like the misty yeah. look, so I ended up going dark again. As you can see behind her, how cl how bright that sky was compared to what I did to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hela. Hela as in... Um, Thor's sister. I would love to mm. do as well, but that that helmet scares me. That headpiece. Scares <laughs> oh, I think me. I think you could probably pull that off. Probably, yeah. <laughs> that would be quite awesome. Um, actually, mm. come to think, but Jade would make an awesome Hela. Probably would, yeah. She would, and she would be so gung ho for that as well. Yep. There we go. Hey, Papa Dick. <laughs> Ah, yes. You see the amount of research that went into each of the yeah. characters. Yeah. It's, it's just a normal thing that you would do. <laughs> yes. When you're... When I'm researching an image, um, I pick... I pick the, 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 for this, it was um, uh, kind of Greek mythology. Yes, Greek, not Roman. Just yep. making sure my mythologies, yeah. <laughs> don't mix your mythologies, yeah. No, don't mix your mythologies. So we had the three fates. Mm -hmm. um, and I kept the... the I, this, As you can see, this is the same shoot as Medusa as well. Yeah. I kept it very simple. Um, this, I think, got me a merit, this image. Yeah. It's one of the best images out of the day, this one. Yeah. So with the, you know, like with the your book here, there's I see that there's like a swatch. Yes, there's yeah. fabric samples, so I can go back and look. Um, because this, the original idea was this was going to go towards a fellowship panel, mm -hmm. but I pushed it too hard, and I, while I ended up with some really stunning images, mm -hmm. I like I say, I, I I was burnt out by towards the end. <laughs> of the As you would do. I, As you I, would I, do. I yeah. Yeah, shooting, shooting um, the entire thing in one day is probably a bad idea. <laughs> very bad idea. Um, so I got some, like I say, some really nice images out of it, but some not yeah. so, and some just didn't yeah. work. You know, but, you know, I, so, you know I, I assume you've got books and books of things now for everything that you've done. Sort of uh, thing, yes, or... I have, well, the, the books like this I have for my associate panel or licentiate panel at yeah. the time. And then this one for the fellowship. Mm -hmm. um, 
I do have inspiration books, but most of that sort of stuff tends to be Pinterest boards. Yeah, so you move more digital now. Yeah, I'm a bit more digital now. This I wanted because it was going to be for the fellowship, and I wanted them to be the judges to be able to actually look through it. Yeah, be a bit more tactile and do all that yeah. sort of thing, and go, oh, look at this, you know, an yes. extra an extra feature. <laughs> yeah, what work I did. Oh yeah. my god, I went my butt off on that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, I can't why now I'm gonna have that song in my head all day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you poor thing. Now here we go. There's Another. the Morrigan. There's the Morrigan. I knew I knew one of them was here. I knew one of them was called yeah. that. I can't remember which one it was. <laughs> the Irish goddess goddess yeah. of death. Yeah. No. That's Jade again. Yes. That's my maleficent lady again. Ooh. Especially like this one here with the by the waterfall. Which is yes. just look with the two the swords. Yes, uh, that that's, that's a powerful image. Um, this is another reason why I love working with Jade is she, um, she has no problem getting into character, which I find with a lot of models, your standard fashion model getting into character like this is almost impossible for yep. them. I... They, 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 they look, you know, scream. Uh, no, I actually mean scream, physically scream at me so I can take the shot. And they're like, huh? It's the tension you get in the neck is different and all that sort of thing. So, yeah, Jade was mm. by the waterfall yelling at me. <laughs> yeah, I'm with, I'm with you there for on, on that with models because, like, you know, I'm, I'm a bit like you when I was doing, yeah. like, stuff for myself. Yeah. I enjoyed doing the weirder stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you've seen my weirder stuff, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and, you know. You know, I wanted models that were actually capable of doing, you, yes. know, you know, a bit more, you know, creepy looks. But, yes, go, oh. go for the more creepy looks and the, the oh. fashion models don't get it. Yeah, you know, and, you know, you put, out a, you put out a, you know, a call for models and, you know, you go like, you know, I want alternative models or models that are, you know, doing this. Yeah. And you get, you know, and then all of a sudden you just get this one fashion model that like, oh, yeah, I'm totally alternative. And you're like, no, you're not. <laughs> you're totally not. <laughs> why i started raiding the burlesque girls yeah. oh yeah because they're used to getting into a character yeah um, and so and they're, they're used to performing in front of an audience and because normally there are people walking around when you're doing a shoot mm. um so uh, people like jade and sue and all those have no problem doing what i ask them to do if i've got 100 people standing behind me it doesn't bother them in the least mm. You know, but then, like you know, for me, like me, for I, I got into like the LARP folk. <laughs> That's what they got. Yes, yeah, yeah the LARP yeah. folk. Are, LARP folk are awesome as well, and half of them have their own <laughs> kit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very true. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah that dress was twenty-seven yeah. meters of feathers. Oh, yeah. Again, feathers, feathers. It's always about the feathers. <laughs> you know, because like you know, there's there's the headdress there. Yes, yeah. that actual set of bird wings yeah that is an actual set of bird wings on, yeah. the, on the headdress uh, i have a chap up your way actually yeah that goes out and collects things like um skulls and dropped antlers and he collects them during the winter months and stuff and then he sells them <laughs> on he's not cheap he yeah. really, really is not cheap but yeah he finds a dead bird he'll take its wings off and dry them out and sell them mm -hmm. so when you want mm. the weird and the wonderful I know where to go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, it's not always just for you that you're making this stuff for. You do commission yeah. work. I do you know, do commission you work. You do. Yeah. You do commission work. You know, I've seen some of the commission stuff that you've done. So here's uh, some Zelda stuff. Ah, that done. was for Jacob. For Jacob. Yes. Yeah. One of my a very good friend of mine yeah. and fellow photographer. Yeah. He's so. he, and absolutely mad about Zelda. Oh, that he is. That he is completely insane about Zelda. <laughs> yeah. So he wanted something a little different from your traditional Zelda look. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is what you gave him. <laughs> yeah, that's what I gave him and he was a happy bunny. Uh -huh. Oh, that he was. You know, especially then you've gave him this as well. <laughs> oh, that armor. Oh my God, that armor. <laughs> that armor was so designed by a teenage boy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Even after a major uh, reduction, it was still too big. Wait. Yeah. 
<laughs> I mean, that that lady is a bodybuilder. Oh yeah, I remember. I remember him telling the story to us. Yeah. <laughs> she, yes. She's amazing. The first foam helmet I ever made. Yeah. Proud helmet. Yeah, that's you know. First like... foam X, not so good. <laughs> <laughs> it still works though. It still works. It does. It still looks like the thing, and yeah, the the link outfit was a bit meh. There were better things I could have done with it, looking mm. back on it now. But I was still fairly new to the whole costuming thing. Yeah. Back then, still looks like Link, though. Yeah, you know, when you look at that and you go, "It's Link." <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's not just you know fantasy <laughs> stuff that you do. You know. <laughs> oh, what have I missed? What have oh, I missed? Sorry. <laughs> Someone's comment. Uh, all right. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. And they were. Twice that size. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, Lamas, put your uh, your shop link, your Etsy shop Aww. link in. Oh, Lama, thank you. Thank you, Lama. Uh, so then, you know, you know you that do, one's commission. You know, you do. Oh, another fellow photographer. Another, you know, very, very, you know. No, I was going to say normal, <laughs> but you know, <laughs> you know, for you. Had, for me, that is very normal yeah. yeah but it's still a lot of work that went into it uh that yeah, yeah that's two dresses it's got the satin underdress and then yeah. the lace over the top i wouldn't curse my color picking ability i managed to get cotton that was identical in color to the lace and then sewed one of the panels on wrong All right. had to unpick it. <laughs> I, 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 I wouldn't advise that i've ended up just slicing the seam off <laughs> it was easier <laughs> putting a new panel mm. in uh, it's beautiful. It turned the the seams. This this particular pattern I've used in so many shoots because the the seams are just absolutely perfect. They just the dress just sits beautifully. We'll get you some close up. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> there we are. Part of close up. <laughs> there you go. It had, a, it had a train on as well that you could lift and button onto the back as well, so you could shorten the train or or have a train if you wanted to. It had a bustle or a train. Yeah. You know, and then... It's very simple lace, that. Very, very simple lace, but you don't need much. You don't want it to be too sort of in your face, really. And Christina did such a, a, her usual. Oh, well, yeah, I was about to just say that, you know, Christina Lauder, you know. Yeah. You need portraiture work like that? That's the lady to speak to. My God, her work is beautiful. Yeah. You know, that's, you know, it's a, it's a, that's, that's like a, you know, a master class in Christina Lauder style. Oh, yes, totally. <laughs> Completely yeah. and utterly. Uh, and then, you know, something totally out the box here is a, a Victoria Bultler. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I loved making it. That was so weird. It was so totally weird. I chopped up two two clown masks to make that, make that and latex some eyeballs in it and... She took it and did that with it. Yeah. And that image is incredible. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. But then she another master at her craft. Oh, she's like a, a Photoshop genius, that woman. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. I, I know probably about a hundredth or thousandth of what she does in Photoshop. It's incredible. Yeah. 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 She doesn't do it anymore, which is, you know, she's now a tattoo artist. Yeah, she does. She has done some photography. I've oh, seen sure. some edits pop All up. Right. Yeah, she occasionally will do an edit here or there. Right. Uh, yeah. But yeah, she's now doing. I'm mean, to be honest with you, looking at her t tattoo work. If I was ever going to get a tattoo, I would probably go to her. Yeah, well, she's <laughs> an artist. Her, that, so that, that artistic yeah. ability yeah. now <laughs> on people yeah. instead. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you know, there's. You also sent me some things that you know you've had, you've had made for you. <laughs> you know, Did I? yeah. Look at these. Yeah. yeah. Well, you can see one there. <laughs> you know, that's glorious mom's socks. Yeah, the ever amazing mom socks. The ever amazing yeah. mom's socks and yeah. those cups, those glasses. I don't use them in the kitchen; they're too yeah. precious. They hold my precious paintbrushes instead. <laughs> <laughs> and my precious pens. They mm. stay in here. Nobody is allowed to use those. 
That is from um, Ember. Yes, Ember Project. Who's just awesome. Little mm. birdie. Yeah. Well, it's probably because I've yanked it all the way down. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to sit that low. Because that the um, mannequin is not set up for my size. It's set up for a lot smaller than me. <laughs> so, yes. And then... Is that the only two you stuck up there? Or have you no, you one sec. It? I was just posting something there. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, I was like, no, uh, no. I was just uh, telling mom. Mom, mom saw yes, the poster, mom poster, poster, poster shop. Yeah, post it. Post it. Uh, post it. Don't argue. Uh, I'd, she, she does it anyway. It's fine. <laughs> uh, and then a lovely, lovely pen that was custom made oh, for you. Yes, my pen. My precious. Mm, I love this pen. It's a Phoenix pen. Of course, I love right. it. Why is the blooming ton, though? Mm. Yes, that's the lovely voodoo. There you we do, go, Mom. It to one, yeah. isn't it? Yes. The voodoo who made me one. I commissioned him, actually, yeah. to make that one. Yeah. And you get to pick out your resin to go down the center, that blue resin. You get to pick it and you get to watch it being made. It's so awesome. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. And this is this is the sort of thing that I love in the mm. Twitch community. You know, the 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 people, you know, working together, commissioning each other, you know, making things for each other, you know, that whole community that we you know, that's been built. Yeah. Oh no, definitely. I mean, that little star up there. Yep. The that is from Saya Cat. Oh. <laughs> I, I commissioned her to make me a little star. It's my pin cushion when I'm working on my mannequin. Lovely. I stick all my pins yeah. In it. It's awesome. And then Calamity Cat made me my on the on the door there. I don't know how well you can see it. Is that your patch? That's my patch. Yes, it's my patch. <laughs> so yes, I yeah. I mean. I, I I want to surround myself with stuff. You've got yours that I commissioned you up yeah. above my door. <laughs> so I, I do. I commission a lot of, um, what's the name? Uh, I've commissioned Hula to make a Christmas present for my mom. Oh, Texas Hula. Yep. Uh, mom Socks is making a Christmas present for my dad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I've, I've decided yeah. this year I'm not going anywhere near the big boys. Yeah. I'm only buying Christmas presents from other streamers. Yeah, you're you're shopping Twitch local. <laughs> I'm not shopping Twitch local. Yes. Well, technically, <laughs> Mom socks um, is Twitch local to my mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <the> same. <laughs> so yeah, it's how, it's how you do. Andy, thank you for that follow. Andy. Uh, yeah, but you know. I can't wait, Purple Tea. I'm so looking forward to it. Purple Tea sent me something and I can't wait. Ooh. Presents, I like getting presents. It's like presents, like Christmas. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. And you've been, you know, in the before times, you were even out and about meeting some of the, the crazy, crazy people I from yes. you know, from Twitch as well. So there's you yes, with... Himself. You know, I have met himself. Yeah. The evil Ted. Evil Ted Smith. He yeah. is so cool. And there's also Weird Sisters in there. Um, Studio J7. Uh, Talent Foundry. I can never remember. I always get those two mixed up. It's one of the two. They're both good. Follow them both. Missy <laughs> <laughs> <Missy's> Studio. <laughs> uh, yeah. I will do Purple yeah. Tea. Don't worry. I will do. Yeah. But yeah. But, you know, again, this is, this is the lovely thing. You know, I've been able to meet up when you could. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, this was the beginning yeah. of this year. It feels like ten years. Yeah, ago. just before it, it all happened. I got to meet uh, Brazen and Bold as well. Yeah, they were I mean, there too. Yeah, so you know, and hopefully things will take a change and we can start doing this all over again. Yes, know, yes, yes. Know. yes they, are, they are talks of Twitch meetups. Yeah, or you know, tw you know, tw 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 Twitch Twitch Creative Con. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Twitch meetups, Twitch meetups, Twitch convention. Yeah. You were the one who brought that up. Yep. We totally need to have that, you know. Things like Maker Central would be amazing to go to. Maker, Maker Central. Cent you know, Maker Central. Show, show, the, show the YouTube folk how amazing Twitch is. 
Oh, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I, I can't get on with YouTube. Mm, no. Uh, it's too big. Yeah. And yeah. I'm ho I, as much as I love the fact Twitch is growing, I, I actually hope it never gets quite as big <laughs> as YouTube. Because yeah. you just won't be able to find anything or anyone. You yeah. just be lost in the sea. So mm. I quite like the small community, but at the same time, I want it to grow and I want everybody I know on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a terrible quandary to be in. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I, uh, I was talking about this on Sunday actually, just about uh, the makers of crafting, you know, and how how we've grown in the past year. You know, cause we, yeah. see, we can see that we've grown. Uh, like doubled in size over the last year, at least, yeah, you know, at you least, know, you know, and that's you know, and you know that's been a lot of work from everyone, new people coming in, you know, we've had people coming back back over here from Mixer as well. We've had yeah. a lot of good, a lot of good stuff that's happened, you know, in the face of COVID, you know, yeah, ten, you know, ten, 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 like, yeah, 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 you know, COVID's been probably good for Mixer Crafting because Mixer and Crafting people have joined up into Twitch because it's replaced the yes. you know the the you know their 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 crafting group and their knitting group all this sort of thing you know and that's that's been the great thing you know and that's you know one of these wonderful things where like you know everyone goes into each other's uh, streams it is probably one of the most welcoming and accepting communities i have ever had the privilege of being part of it it's it's unbelievable i can't believe there's such a nice place still left in this world if you know what i mean mm -hmm. considering all the nonsense that is going on out there that i don't want to know about <laughs> I, I i live in makers and crafting because it's just an incredible incredible um group of people yeah, everyone's so lovely <laughs> i know I keep sort of wanting to pinch myself and like, is this real? <laughs> yeah, you jump in, you jump into anyone's stream, you go hello, and then like at least at least two or three people, at least if not more, will be like hello, and you're like, oh, I know you, I know you, <laughs> you know. No, definitely. Yeah. Oh, so, um, your newest venture, you know, not not wings, not you know, not cosplay, not wrestling gear. Well, you know, you've decided, you know, that's oh, that's all old hat. That's all old hat now. <laughs> no, you want to go down <laughs> down the road. You know, you don't want to stay on the easy things. <laughs> Not at all. I know what's coming. Yeah, yeah, no, you want you want to be, you know, going to go crazy and start, you know, doing violins. <laughs> well, I'll <hell> not. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Quite as crazy. I don't know if I sent you a photo of the cello I did. Yeah. Oh, that one. <laughs> that was the first one I ever painted. I had not the freaking clue. I it desperately needs to be redone. The paint is bubbling, but I can't bring myself to destroy the work <laughs> that I put into that. Um, that was my steampunk cello that I did for. It was for a shoot. Steampunk shoot. At, what did I title it? Death's Note or something like that. Note of Death or something along those lines. I can't remember. I think, yeah, I think this one, I think, did it get a merit? Might have gotten a merit. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. But there's some details in there that not too many people have picked up on that are pretty gruesome, really, if you look closely into the image. Uh, not in the, <laughs> uh, not in the cello itself, in the actual photograph. All right. So, yeah, um, scales and stuff, I assume. Yes, <laughs> on the scale, so. yeah, 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 I'm sure I noticed that. <laughs> yeah, the that was sneaking in there, yeah. but yes, so that was the first instrument I ever yeah. painted, and I absolutely loved doing it. But finding even broken cellos for next to nothing is impossible, um, because generally the people fix them. Yeah. Um, because they are so expensive. I had no idea. I think I picked this up for like 40 bucks. So I was lucky there. <laughs> that, was, that was completely lucky. And any musician who probably sees that is probably crying into their headphones right now. And I wouldn't blame them. I know better now. 
<laughs> I didn't back then. I'm sorry. <laughs> so now I just paint student and broken violins. The student violins I buy for those who want to be able to play, although I don't guarantee that they will sound good once I've painted them. And then the broken violins, they're um, really cheap. So um, they're basically not worth fixing. They just end up in either in somebody's fire pit or in the trash. So I take them and I repurpose them. Mm. So was this the first one you did? Was, the, was it JoJo's? No, no. no, JoJo was the latest this one, one I did. Was it the, the, the Warcraft one that you did first? The first one I did was um, the Bastion... Oh, oh, your Black Butler run, wasn't it? Black Butler, yes. yes, Black Butler was the first one I did. Yeah. Um, where I learned that you do not put high gloss finish on a violin and then yeah. try and photograph it because <laughs> you can't see anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I did the uh, Your Line April. Yeah. Um, I haven't. I still haven't finished that one. That one still needs to be finished. Um, and then it was the World of Warcraft. Yeah, and then you did this one here. Well, we'll look at the Warcraft one last because that is an amazing piece. Um, uh, you know, I but think yes, that one is playable. Um, yeah. I don't know if anybody saw the video I stuck up on my Instagram today of the owner actually playing it, and it's <laughs> it doesn't sound bad at all, at least to my untrained ears. Yeah. It sounds like a perfectly good violin. Yeah, we can look at the details on it as well and the kind of work in progress as well. Yes. Yeah, you know, and again, you know, this is this is you just hand painting it. Yes, hand painting with ink. Yeah, how um, did how did that go? <laughs> Never painted with ink before, alcohol ink for that matter. <laughs> um, it uh, dissolves the layers below it, uh -huh. which makes for a bit of a challenge. And once it's down on wood, it's down. It's down. Yep. It's now you have the, there's no take backsies. <laughs> no take backsies. You can sand it away, but um a violin's top case is so thin already you really don't want to be sanding it any more than you absolutely <laughs> have to. Absolutely have mm -hmm. to. So yes, um what I do is I digitally draw those first line drawings. I then print them out on um transfer paper and transfer them onto the violin because a violin surface is curved, and I, 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 and it wobbles. So you 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 don't have a steady surface to work on. While I have um, bean bags that they sit on while I'm painting to actually sit and physically draw something. It's it's just easier to draw it online um, on my um, Cintiq and then print it out and transfer it over. Papa Duke is asking <laughs> when you play, does it go pedal, 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 pedal? pedal. <laughs> I've not actually watched this anime. I tried. I got into I think the third episode before I was like, uh, I can't do this. This is not my thing. But even I know what that means. I've seen enough of the memes. <laughs> but it was I, Dio. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then you know this is this is probably the the most in intensive one that you've done. I would have thought. Yes, and, my... you know, where I yeah. learned to airbrush. Yeah, airbrushing. How did you airbrushing find airbrushing? I love it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I want to airbrush everything. <laughs> so, so next time, right, next time we see. Oh, the, <laughs> the, the, the next, everything will be airbrushed. Yes, the next one will be um, the one I'm doing for brush, <laughs> <laughs> brush for hire. Because we're mm -hmm. doing an art exchange. He's mm -hmm. getting a violin, and I'm getting a miniature that is going to be so awesome. Oh, so very fun. nice. It's a water dragon. Ooh. <laughs> painting it in blues and greens, and I'm so happy. Sorry, a little uh -huh. bit excited there. Um, so yes, so that one will be. He will. There will be a um, zombie rainbow unicorn on his. Yeah. And for anyone that's not seen the final product to this one, this is this is it here to be amazed at. You know, this this is the kind of work that you're producing on a violin. Is this? Look at that. How amazing. That first attempt at painting as you can see the actual um arm and the i can't remember what that but yes that bit is is painted in such a way that when it's strung it actually looks like a solid image 
if you take those off, the image is still solid underneath. Yeah. And then I repainted what's below that curved surface on top as well. So it doesn't detract from the overall image. Yeah, but you know, that's just amazing. Like the detail that you've got on you know, you know, for the figure here and the dragon. Oh, you know, that detail, so much detail. Yes. Yeah. I had to wear very, very strong magnifying glasses to actually paint <laughs> that detail. And it's weird with three it was a hair and a prayer, never mind three hairs and a prayer <laughs> on some of that work on the actual character. Zoom and enhance. Yeah, zoom and enhance, totally. Thank you for the follow to James. To James. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Oh, it's really so amazing, you cat. They really are. Yeah, like, you know. He's the man who taught me to airbrush, watching him and asking him questions. That is the result. Yeah. This is, you know, you know he's de well, he definitely gave you some great advice to create this that's for sure because you know that is an amazing piece of work that you've created yeah and, and i'm sure partner. i'm so chuffed for him yeah he made partner which is amazing Brave. lovely to see lovely yeah. to see so yeah that is that is all the photos that you sent me <laughs> all of them. well it's all so so all the ones so all the ones i went through the, the ones I chose. Uh, I never, I never showed them all. <laughs> you said you were gonna. You made me apologize online for something you didn't do. <laughs> right. So as always, we've got a couple of things that we always have to ask you. First of all, we'll drop them. What is your favorite doing it? <laughs> sugar ring. A sugar Just ring. Sugar ring. Plain Nothing. old sugar ring. What's what's this? What's what's so good about a plain old sugar ring? It's just yummy. Yeah. Anything I, I find once you start anything anything else, it just starts getting too much. <laughs> I mean, I will eat a icing covered donut. Yes, I will not deny that. But given the choice, I'll go for a sugar ring. Never a jam though. Mm -mm, <laughs> don't do jam donuts. It's just too sweet. <laughs> Says the girl with the empty bag of M&M's. Yeah, I was going to see if you could get a bag of M&M's there, you know. <laughs> and, we've and we've removed all the brown ones for you as well, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I was actually, I was looking at it today and I was thinking, should I make a picture with it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so expect that on your Instagram tomorrow then. M&M oh, yes, picture. <laughs> picture i was cleaning and this is what my brain does to me when i'm cleaning you don't want to clean you want to make a picture with pretty picture with eminem yeah. <laughs> you totally do i can't wait to see that now no i'm not, no no, no the mm, are too, mm, i'm not putting them on this desk are you mad mm, uh, put some down off. first <laughs> <laughs> you know right and the last one that we need to ask is can you give me three streamers that you recommend? Now, these aren't the ones you love. Three that you recommend. Three yeah. that I recommend. Oh, God, it's so hard. <laughs> yeah. Hard. Okay, well, uh, for foam work, Evil Ted. <laughs> Hands down. Evil Ted. Um, not only is he He's awesome, just Evil Ted, he's, isn't he? He's just Evil Ted. Yeah. He is the godfather of foam. Um, he's forgotten more about foam than any of us will probably ever learn. So... Um, no doubt about that. Um, you know, so what, what sort of things does he make? Uh, pretty much you name it. He's, and he also, um, he produces patterns, foam patterns, simple patterns that you can then take and edit and add to. And he also makes YouTube videos, uh, instruction videos that you can sit and watch. And he's very, very good at explaining, breaking down how to put things together. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, Firebird Nether, you're not wrong there at all. Yeah, he is, um, he is very good at doing all that. You know, he's 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 one of these good teacher types. You know, he's yes. got that he's got that brain of being able just to kind of go, this is how you do it. You mm. know, and then go and here's the actual bits that you need to figure yeah. out. You know, yes. and you know, and it breaks it down to very very simple and straightforward steps, um, which. I'm, I've seen so many really, really good excellent makers, but when they're 
when they're teaching, they make a few assumptions that some of us noobs wouldn't know. Well, we do the step. We do these steps beforehand. Well, well, because you do them. Yeah. Whereas Ted will explain you need to do this, this, and this, and this to prep before you do this. Um, and that is the thing. I, I t totally. And he's just an absolute sweetheart as well. What a <laughs> wicked sense of humor. <laughs> Absolutely wicked sense of humor. Okay, so that foam work. Um, thinking now. When it comes to painting, learning to use and watching painting, definitely brush for hire. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, he was the man who taught me uh, what not to do mostly with an airbrush, which probably saved me hours of crying and frustration. Um, and he also, he will stop in the middle of what he's doing and he, to show you how to do something if you ask him a question the man's a born teacher um yeah. and the patience of a saint he put up with me for so long <laughs> 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 and oh my god his work oh his work is so beautiful There's, he's painting a dragon at the moment um well two of them uh the necromancer which is he lo his the thing I love most about him is he paints horrific miniatures in pretty colors. <laughs> 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 Absolutely, I mean some of these things are nightmare inducing, and then he paints them in pastel pinks and purples. <laughs> <laughs> and you look at oh that's oh my god. <laughs> that's one way to do it though. <laughs> Papa Chiki, that's a perfect description. Yeah. He's like mildly cracked in the head. I love him well, to bits. He's so sweet. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a ringing endorsement for him. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, <sighs> who else? Sewing. I must be honest, I don't... Um, sewing is a toss-up. Um... But if I had to pick, actually, he's an all-rounder, to be honest. It's Tok Customs. Tok Customs, yep. Tok Customs, yeah. Yeah. Um, he is probably one of my favorite streams, and I love hanging out in his streams. They're so much fun. And he then, he does... Um, uh, let's see. Heads, heads, says one go again. This one. Tok. Is it underscore Customs again? I think so. Do you know... I've, yeah, he has. He's not on Twitch so much anymore. Yeah, he's mostly on YouTube now. But his, I go to his YouTube videos regularly because he has things like how to thread an overlocker. YouTube videos, for those new to sewing and terrified of oh, uh, surgeons or overlockers. Um, those videos are invaluable. Oh, yeah. Um. Why did it not like the first one? I put an S at the end. Ah, uh, ta 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 ta. No, you didn't. Yeah, the first one I did. I put talk customs, and he's talk custom. Oh, I'm looking at the. Oh, I'm looking at the <laughs> second one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, yes. So for and just all round fun stream to hang out in. You hang out in the stream, have an absolute blast, then go to his YouTube videos and learn all the things. All the things. <laughs> yeah, you know, like his, you know, when I've been on his Twitch channel, it's it's always fun, you know. <laughs> it is. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's a madhouse in there. How he yeah. keeps up with everybody, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, it's... The man yeah. is a machine. There's always really something, is. always something happening there and, you know, his crazy raid videos. And, in! Coming! Oh, oh. Got Jen. Jen's incoming. Hey, Jen. Welcome in. Thank you for that awesome read. Oh. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Hope your stream was good. Hope it went well. Oh, yeah. we're about to be snuggled to death. We are getting snuggled to death. <laughs> 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 Nothing wrong with that. No, what a way to go! <laughs> what a way to go! <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, you know the it's you know again, 
you know, People Like Talk, who's, you know, you know, created a, a lot, another amazing community on his, his channel that's kind of expanded yes. out. You know. It has, totally. Um, I mean, the, I think the most fun I've ever had on a channel was watching Talk and everybody in stream deal with a couple of trolls that came in. It was the funniest thing I have ever seen. He welcomes them. He welcomes the trolls in. <laughs> and they generally leave of their own accord. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, other than that, he's had a couple of trolls subscribe. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> yeah, if you can turn them to, yeah, that's oh, even exactly. better. Exactly. Yeah. So I, I do miss him. I wish he would stream more. But, yeah. you know, the man's got to make a living. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, you know, as a streamer, you know, and you know, what, 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 what do you kind of enjoy uh, the most about your stream? You know, your streams. I just like having company, um, and then certain people not looking at you, mom socks, <laughs> make my streams go mad. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it, it, it's the the main reason I stream is for the company. Um, I I honestly I wouldn't care if nobody ever subscribed to me. Um, I love all my watches, and we have such fun on stream. Um, and it's and all my friends, you're in my on the in the box on my desk. I love you all so much. <laughs> <laughs> We totally exist. We totally exist in that box. We totally right? exist. We're not a figment. I promise, we're not yeah, a figment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I really have. I really have met you in real life. Yes, we. <laughs> you've not only just met me. You've met the other half as well. Yeah. The the, the, the invisible uh, coffee yes. fairy. <laughs> I, I can. I can. I can confirm. He does actually exist. He does <laughs> he actually is. exist. I people. <laughs> We go. Um, there's a question. How's the pandemic affected your day to day life? Um, considering I'm a bit of a hermit. Okay, honestly, I'm a lot of hermit. Not much. Um, work wise, work pretty much took a nosedive because most of my work is to do with events, and during a pandemic, events don't happen. So. Um, I've had some trickle work come in, little bits here and there, but um, but day to day, I even have my shopping delivered. I'm that bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, since be since before. <laughs> since since yeah. before, yes. Yeah. Um, I'm actually now I've got all my shopping days booked until the 24th of December. <laughs> So I don't have to step out of the house until the twenty fourth, until after the twenty fourth of September, December. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Oh, I've become so insistent. Have you left the house at all? Um, just taking the bins out count. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know if that counts. You know, I'm out the front door. It's still in your property, technically. <laughs> No, 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 because I've got to get step off my property to go put the bins across the road. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm stretching. I'm reaching. You're I know, really stretching. I know. You're really stretching it. <laughs> uh, hey, Magic Marker. <laughs> Magic! <laughs> I know. Oh. Well, actually, I'm Sorry, yeah, here's another good one from Jinkies, actually. What have you both learned that's proved invaluable knowledge you didn't know six months ago? Oh, wait, run that past me again, sorry. Yeah. What have you both learned that's proved invaluable knowledge you didn't know six months ago? Oh, that is a good one. Yeah, it's a really good question. Mm. For me... I don't know if it would be something I learned. Something more that kind of happened by happy accident uh, when I was making these white wing covers. Um, instead of putting the turkey feathers directly onto the foam feathers like I did with the original, which then when the feather when the uh, wings fold up, the, the, they tend to disappear underneath the, the main feathers. Um, I attached them to the wing covers 
and because I didn't want to sit and try and fold feathers back to find a small bit of fabric to stitch a bloody big turkey feather or two, um, I decided to do strips cut out the same shape as and then um, using a latex and um, acrylic mix so it's white on white um, to actually glue those after stitching the feathers down to actually glue those strips onto the wings and now all my wings are made that all my wing covers are made like that <laughs> nice because i don't mm -hmm. have to the arm the gap in between the needle and the main part of the machine is so narrow trying to get a full length what 30 odd centimeter turkey feather plus a whole bunch of fabric with feathers on through without damaging anything it's not impossible so <laughs> it's made my life so much easier definitely well have i what have i learned i i have learned that people really want me to drop eggs <laughs> <laughs> you never thought people would want you to drop eggs so much oh <laughs> <laughs> uh... It's uh, yeah, you know the yeah the you know since since the lockdown when I you know with we started doing randomness on this channel and I started juggling eggs, <laughs> all of a sudden there was an expectation for me to drop eggs. <laughs> well, I can't say I'm surprised. It's, just, it's like uh, you can you not hear the chanting in the back? Drop it, drop it, yeah, drop totally. It, drop it. <laughs> It's just that expectation now. Yeah. Yeah. The juggle, the, the juggle game is not live, makes you know. We don't have juggling eggs at the moment. This is the podcast. We don't have the juggling <laughs> redeem currently going on. <laughs> Actually, no, not thank you. Damn it. <laughs> I'm not saying thank you for your sake, but damn it for mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because if, if you redeemed that, it would have to be Feathered Phoenix that has to do the juggling eggs. <laughs> uh, oh, hell no. Oh hell! I've dropped an egg once. I never ever want to clean. Well, not once. I've dropped them a few times, but I don't ever want to clean them up anymore. Um, there's another. Yeah, there's another one. Uh, one from Pixie Creations. Um, we'll make this one the last one just because of the time. Uh, is there something you still really want to learn in your cosplay adventures? Leatherwork Ooh. will be my next. Well, you've seen the costume I want to make. Yep. <laughs> I have. You have. Uh, I want to make it all out of leather. And everybody's going, oh, you're mad, you're mad. It's going to be so expensive, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I don't care. I want to do it. If it wasn't a um, challenge, what would be the point? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can I drop a link in the chat for people who want to see yeah, it? Yeah, of course. Okay. There. Boop. That one. <laughs> I want to make that one. And I want to make it all out of leather. There we go, Papa Dukey. Link above it. There we go. Yeah, there it is. So, it's, uh, it's going to be a fun one, that's for sure. Oh, oh, uh, you, I can't do know, that. Oh. <laughs> Don't do that. A, Don't do that. I keep forgetting. That, that puts it over us. <laughs> it is originally made in leather. Um, this is the um, costume for the witch from Mulan. Um, that was in the throne room that everybody freaked out about because, well, it made no sense. Why was she in the throne room? Blah, 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 blah. I don't care. It's beautiful. <laughs> I loved the movie personally. I thought the new movie was awesome. But, um, and I saw that costume and I just, I want to make it out of leather. Um, and there's molding and casting and there's 3D printing and there's just silk work. And I just want to make all the things. I'm so excited. I was mm. going to start it this month, but I haven't had a chance to get anywhere yet because I've got the stuff to do. Work. <laughs> oh, but you know you'll get it done it'll be an amazing thing once you do i can't wait to see that so that is actually the first cosplay i ever really want to make for me oh just for me <laughs> i love 
the character. I loved the costume. I just loved everything about it. And the fact she blooming morphs into a bird. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. Oh, can't watch the yeah. link, sadly. It's giving me an error. Oh. No. It's I think it's working for some people. I don't know why. Just stick it over my oh. face so oh, they can see yeah, it. Let's uh, click it and here we go. Here we are. Why does it do that? I've no. That one there. Are you on the yeah, wrong no, screen? Oh. Can I make it move? Oh. <laughs> you can't move it. No, I, can't, I can't move it either. It's oh. awkward. The awkwardness of this thing. There we go. Oh, uh, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, find the right one. Whoop. There we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Because, yeah, on my screen, yeah. it was right down the middle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've not got this set up for this. I, I need to work on those bits. Ah, <laughs> yeah, pro streamer, pro streamer. Let's <laughs> yeah, hang go. on a sec. Yeah. Uh, open image in a new tab. Maybe that'll give me yeah. a better. No, it's yeah. still the same link. Unfortunately, it won't let me. Just, I've got no way of showing you. I'm sorry. How about sticking a picture of it in your Discord? Yes, yeah, stick it in the Discord. Okay, let's stick it in the Discord. There we go. Um, There's the Discord for you. There big, we go. Big, big ass. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> That'll work. There we go. There okay. We uh, laser geek, laser geek, where are you? I have got so many. There's always so many Discords, isn't there? <laughs> I know. Um, what, yeah. uh, what channel should I stick it in? Uh, stick in general. General. Yeah. Or, or yeah, stick in general. The easiest one for people general? to find. Okay. There we go. All right, there's Pap Papadook. He's might have just went and pushed, put in another one for possibly wanting to make oh. it work. Okay, there we go. I've just posted the image in general. There we go. Oops. For those who want to see it. Oh, you're hidden. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to see yeah. you on the side. There. Twitch has gone and stuck you yeah. down the bottom there, and I can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how do I get back to that? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Pop out, yes, they. Mm -hmm. oh, that, that's close enough. <laughs> I have no idea what I just mm -hmm. did, but it's working, so yep. we won't knock it. <laughs> yeah. I've lost, I've lost, lost chat though. Oh, you've lost it? Oh no, no, you kind of lost chat. No. Well, it's disappeared down the back. Oh. It's gone. Oh, it's, oh, it's down the back of the sofa now. No. It's down the back of the sofa. Yes, I've dropped chat <laughs> down the back of the sofa. Sorry, chat. There we go. Right. Chat's back. There we go, guys. <laughs> right. So, where where can we find you on Twitch? <laughs> when when do you stream? <laughs> uh, I'm really bad. I don't have a set schedule. Um, I tend to be afternoons GMT, though. I seldom stream in the mornings. I usually anywhere from about 1 till about sort of 4 p.m. Um, are my usual streaming times. I am trying to be a good girl and stream more often <laughs> <laughs> but i've taken a few days off since last week and fighting with those wings because just i did a 24-hour shift again to get yeah. those black wings finished and then disassembled and packed up and sent <laughs> um and then i sort of like a few days just going <laughs> um so but soon i'll be starting on the violin um, mm -hmm. well, that's going so to be a fun one. Be, that's going to be a fun one. The zombie unicorn and the phoenix. Um, and I'll be finishing up this, these things when I can face them. There's no exactly no rush for them right now. Because um, all I need to do now is just string the feathers. I.e. open the wings up and then just tie string to the feathers all the way down so you get the full. When it opens, the feathers go up with it. And they don't just dangle limply <laughs> below. <laughs> Oh, that'd be amazing. <laughs> oh. So yes, so I got that that one to do like I was doing the black ones, doing Brilliant. the string like that. But yeah, so Monday normally Mondays to Fridays are the days I'll stream. Any any of those days, I seldom stream on the weekend. Brilliant. There's the occasion, but mm -hmm. I seldom stream. Very mm -hmm. bad. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's your, there's yeah. the the link for Feather Phoenix is in the chat, guys. Go give her a follow. Click the, 
click the button so that you you know when she's on, when she's live, to get a notification. Because you know, if we don't know when she doesn't know when she's going to be live, I you know, know I'm she'll, she'll you'll get the notification that way. Yes, it's the best it'll way be. to do it. Yeah, and there and there's her shop as well. If you ever oh, need diorama, thank you. A, a commission piece, go go give her a, go go look there. You can see the amazing wings. Yes, I don't just. I, I need to put up a general commission post on my mm. Etsy. I don't know how to but do you can it. Also, but you can also message her. Yes. Uh, if you need anything created as well. But yes. But thank yes, you I... so, so much awesome. for being my so guest. You. You've been for amazing. Having... You know, and thank you, everyone, for f coming along, chatting, and asking questions. Thank you to my Sorry, amazing mods. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to Michi, thank you to Lama. Yes, thanks, been amazing. Mark, you guys have been awesome with your, what's yeah. it, what was it? <laughs> bot bopping. Bot, bot, bot bopping, yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Right, who, we're going to go and raid Quill Tony tonight. He raid. So I give him lots of love. Uh, let's go raid him. Let's, let's spell it correctly. Quill Tony. Yep. Cool, Tony. Tony. Here we are. <laughs> we got that right. Yes. We're going the right yes, person. Yes, we're going the right person. There we are. Right. So hey, thank you. Wash yeah, wash your hands. Stay two meters apart. Wear a mask if you can. Do Love all the too, things. Mom. Love you all. <laughs> thank you all for hanging out. You are all amazing. Uh, Enjoy we'll, the we'll, people. We're, We'll press the button in a minute. We'll totally press that button. Let's go bring this hype over to Cool Tony. Let's bring all this hype over. I'm just going to start up on my iPad so I can actually see it. Once the uh, advert starts. <laughs> get past Let's the advert. The we'll get past the advert. Totally get past the yeah. advert. Yeah. It's good, it's good. <laughs> yeah. you know, if there's anything else anyone's wondering, I'll be back tomorrow with back in the workshop. Forget about, uh, don't forget about that. Uh, yes, I will we'll possibly be on the line sanding. Come Ooh, join me. Send them. Sand <laughs> right, so we'll see you all later. Bye. Bye.